Morning, friends. Oh, I'm sorry, wait. Proper intro. <clears throat> Previously on Judgment, the Phantom Thieves have taken over Kamarocho. Will Crow be able to find the missing Jester? Will the masked man step forward and reveal his true identity? Find out on this episode of Judgment, Chapter 3. <laughs> was that good? I don't know if that was good or not. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I tried my best there. Yeah, I'll give you like a previously on Judgment. I mean, they do that with every new chapter, right? So it's only fitting that I do the same thing. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me a second. Sorry, I needed water. Um, anyway, so, hi. Now you know what just happened on Judgment. Um, if we want to recap of what I think, all right, so uh, to bring your attention to this beautiful, masterful whiteboard that we have going on here. So we have the Tojo clan. We got Mat Matsugane, the dad of the Tojo clan. Well, no, he's not like dad, but he's the, he's the dad of the Matsugane family. And then you have Hamura, which is the chairman under him and his son, or not chairman. Whatever, he's the son. He's the guy that's under Matsugane. Um, Higashi, who we just met, uh, which is under the Tojo clan, and we know is friends, ex-BFFs. We have it as ex-BFFs with uh, Kaito. Uh, we only have heard the name Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa? We know that he's a handsome uh, police that works for the Tokyo PD. And he is the person that brought in Hamura in the first place, which he probably doesn't like us considering we turned the case around and found him innocent. So uh, there's that's probably not gonna end so well. Um, uh, we also, I put the, the little bitches category as the new category as of the first stream of the whiteboard stream. Uh, Ayabe, we met for the first time last time. Seems like a little bitch, like a good little bitch. L the little bitches category are like people that I consider to be good, but like, why do they gotta be such a difficult, shady people? But they're good. So they're little bitches because they just have to be difficult. Ayabe, in that category. Mass man, in that category. Kiss ass. He likes to kiss Yagami's ass, all right? That's all the notes that we got. That's where we're at. Boom. I'd say that's a pretty good whiteboard. That's, that's pretty good, man. I'd say we got like, a good, clear view of all the people, what's going on right now. I think that we, I think we got this. You know, I'm gonna figure out the whole plot. I'm glad that you like, uh, like the whiteboard. I'm very proud of it. I think that, uh, it's going to help me solve, uh, everything that's happening in the plot, clearly. All right, so uh, I'm supposed to sit on this couch. Let's just sit on the couch then. I have a stopping by tomorrow. Might be a good idea to get some shut eye. Oh, that's right. We're gonna talk to one of our favorite little bitches. The Phantom Thieves aren't quite on here yet. Just the masked man. I don't think they're all really that important. Just the just Joker is. Uh, Jester, sorry, Ugh, Jester. Oh, do I get to answer my phone? My phone's ringing, guys. Hello? It's Ayabe. Wake up and look behind you. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? God, Bruh. Next time just knock, would you? Bruh. The files he promised. Yeah, he's definitely in the little bitches category. Those the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? 
What have you been smoking? No Yakuza is going to report a robbery on their office. <laughs> They'd have cops swarming the place. <laughs> Wait. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. What? I rounded all of this up myself. You have cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. No! <laughs> My money! Nice. My money. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, <laughs> this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. As a quick recap, uh, they're trying to figure out who back then stole the money that got Kaito expelled from the Tojo clan. So the question is, how did the thief break in, get the money, and make it out? So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really going to chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. So he broke in specifically when no one was around. Ballsy raiding a Yakuza office with just a pistol. It's not ballsy, it's a setup. They made sure that Kaito was the only one there. Sounds a little too well thought out. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Hammer. Maybe, but still. I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy or died trying. <laughs> Thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit what? is what's worth the hundred grand. All right, Ayabe, spill it. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole His thing His ex-BFF. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Aw, so Higashi was in on it? Aww. That's actually sad. Bad move, dumbass. <laughs> Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. Apparently, the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. Oh, okay. By the time he figured but, okay. out what was going on, he was fucked. Mm. Okay, then. You got me. Aww. The money's yours. I'll just... Go get it. Come on, Higashi. He's trusting him to do it. He's trusting him. Higashi! He needs you! He didn't do it! Oh. 
Your best friend needed you. Higashi couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best since no one got killed. Aww. You could also say Higashi abandoned his onigi and let the thief get away. Hmm. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. That is really scary. But then again, he is a Yakuza, so... tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. And it's all Higashi's fault. Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. The police database, that means? I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurojo. Known around town as Red Nose. He's a yeah. clown. Just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. This is Red Nose? I don't think his nose is all that red. <laughs> Not my name. Don't ask me. Anyway, very astute I observation. Think you know what came next? He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. Yeah, he didn't nose? fuck up with his plan. Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't kill him, did he? Beats me. <laughs> well, mm. how was it? Worth the hundred G's? I mean, I guess it was worth it. This fuck. A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. <laughs> I like it. I need to figure out if Red Nose is still alive. Maybe the homeless people around town know. Alrighty. Trying to solve this family robbery. I feel like this might end up helping us out, uh, find out information about the mole, because, uh, I don't know, it's still related to Hamura. Hamura is still involved in all of these things. Go on. Do you know a homeless guy named Red Nose? Here he lives around here. No. Nope. His nose is pretty about. red. I only just moved to this part of town. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Thanks, buddy. I should probably look at the map before I start walking around aimlessly. Oh, um, this is for one of my side cases. That's the panties thing. Oh, that's the batting cages. Uh, the panties case is there and waiting for me. Maybe I'll stop by the panties place. Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Though, 
And in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a, a shot pass. at it? What? Come again? What? It's for a new game this big shot committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice, a heck of a it's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. What am I doing? I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Ugh. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime. Filler, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just tell me about red nose. Is this really necessary? You're killing me. This game better be fun. Well, I guess most mini games are fun in Yakuza. Maybe it'll be fine. Um, ah, map. So we'll we'll take a gander at the batting cages, figure out the side case first. We'll handle the panty thief. And then we'll go to main story. Is 35 still considered young? I'd say so, yeah. That's still really young. Cases in here? It's supposed to go to the batting cages. I don't want to actually play in the batting cages. I don't want to actually play. Please don't make me actually do it. There's like a. Um. Oh. No. All right. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to just do it once and see if it triggers it. Home run course. Why am I playing bat batting? Why am I batting? Okay. Become a legend. Oh, I want to become the legend. Here we go. Oh god, here we go. All right. Uh. Ooh. Oh god. I didn't follow it. The cursor's a little bit. Okay. Oh! That was a really fast ball. It's a little bit hard to follow. No! I have to wait a little bit. Ah! That fast ball, 155 kilometers an hour. Oh my god. Look, this is very mm, hard. Twice? That's something, right? <laughs> uh, I'm... okay. Well, that didn't trigger anything, and now I'm sad. Let me read my cases. So this is a side case. It's all the information it gives you. Hmm. I know that I need to go here.
No, I don't want to know where it is. Never ask questions like that. Trust me, you'll know if I'm asking chat for help. I make it pretty obvious, but I never do that. So. Mind if I ask you a couple a couple questions? Sure, why not? Are you one of the millions dissatisfied with poor or unusual batting performance? The name's hot to know, by the way. Oh, you're a friend. Oh, <laughs> accidentally made a friend. I develop sorts of equipment all across Japan, and I know a real slugger when I see one. What's your name, this champ? Yagami. Yagami's hot. I'll get straight to the point, Yagami-san. I've seen you step up to the bat several times now, and I always think, wow, that rookie's got himself a pretty powerful swing. You think so? Oh, most definitely. I find myself saying, man, this guy is good. If only he knew how to pick the right equipment. What? So how about this? I will give you the incredible opportunity to test out our all-new batting gloves. <laughs> Not just any batting gloves, either. They'll beef up your swing, improve your grip, and keep your hands blister-free. It's as easy as one, two, three. You'll be helping me gather valuable product data, too. So don't be shy. Give him a try. Are you on the ball with it? This guy sucks. Can I unfriend? Hmm. Like this is some Facebook shit or something? Just unfriend them. Huh? Now you're asking for money? <laughs> you give and you get. You live and you learn. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Surely you know the deal by now. Do I really want to spend 3,000 yen, though? I'm desperate for friends. Fantastic! You'll be swinging for the fences in no time! Oh. Thanks, I guess. Alright, we can head around to the back. This is outside. Maybe it's on the roof. Oh, wow! You can actually... S oh, this is cool, this is cool. Oh, are you the panty thief? Oh, the fragrance is for- oh god, it is. Uh -huh. Perhaps this is nice and burly, working woman type. Hey. Who dares to serve my feast? Oh, his feast. Oh my god. Pain. You the one they call the Panty Professor? Indeed I am. I have a great many names. Panty Professor, Skivvy Scholar, Lingerie, Lettery, Literati. Literati. Perhaps you've come to partake of the banquet with me, or are you just a scavenger hoping for sloppy seconds? Not to ruin the moment, but those are actually mine. Well, not mine, per se. I bought them to lure you out. I don't deserve this punishment. Yagami is so done. Look at this fucking face. Oh my god. Thank you, Yagami, for a face like that. That was beautiful. Hey! Blech! I'm gonna puke! I've been basking in the scent of a man sweat? Just come along quietly, man. We'll find you some real strong odors down at the station. Never! There are far too many panties in the world just waiting for me to discover them. If you're going to interfere, then this is where you die. He's going for a gun. Wait, what are those? Whose are those? These belong to none other than the heartthrob supermodel Arisa Taikida. Man must pay for what has doing has disrespecting the woman kicks the mouse that Chris all Chris to die. Eros no kaorina, 
私に力を与えてくれる Out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up. Even my, I can't even read this. This is like pure pain. <sighs> Deep breath, shut off all emotion, Crystal. How, even my panty-fueled rage couldn't cut the mustard. Hey, you're coming downtown, sicko. I may have fallen limp, but the others still, still stand erect. They shall ensure your meet, you meet your end. See you in hell. That's enough out of you, come on. Look at that face. I love Yagami's face right now. I love it. Oh, it's so perfect. Bro, thank you. I should tell the Saitomi twins what happened. <laughs> Are we done? You can rest easy now. The panty professor's going away for a long time. You're amazing, Yagami-san. You actually you caught him. Yagami-san. Now we can sleep in peace. Oh, but before I forget, I think Tsukino wants it to ask a favor of you. Yeah, shoot. Oh, this is embarrassing. Um, this is hard to ask, but... Eh, don't worry, I can take it. Can you, um, destroy any records of what I told you about my panties? Knowing that our... knowing that's out there is mortifying. Sure, if that'll make you more comfortable. <laughs> This panty professor is probably the first guy to actually see them, huh, Tsukino? Yosuke. Didn't I just say I didn't want to think about it? Hey, Yagami-san, just so you know, Tsukino is on the market, and I'd say if you wanted to see her panties... Get out of here with that. <laughs> Yagami's like, yeah, nope, nope. I'm good. The Twisted Trio, let's hope the cops get to deal with the other two. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> We're gonna have to deal with it some more. Can I just die? Fuck your table. I'm sorry, I'm upset. To it. Oh, wait, but my friendship didn't go up. Wait, we're supposed to be best friends now. Whatever, fuck you. Guess we're not friends. Uh, oh yeah, this is the music girl, Sana, right? 
She should be around here somewhere. This side case. Hello? Sana-chan? Yakini-san! They're forcing me to go to their office! Oh god. Wofo, I don't want to have to tell you again to, like, stop. <laughs> I'll get to Sanachan eventually. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> sorry about that bike, dude. I didn't mean to kick that in your face. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna go to main plot. I'm sure Sana will be fine. Actually, what about making another friend? This girl. Hi, Yagami. Please let me know if you need anything. Am I imagining things or did she get, did you get really fluent in English? Hi. Nope, it's all real. I'm glad it's just and not just me who thinks so. Looks like all your practice has finally paid off. I'm sure that's part of it, but actually, <laughs> would you believe it if I told you I got a non-Japanese boyfriend? Huh? Whoa, that was quick. He was seeing at the hotel when we first met. When I tried to speak to him in English, he replied in Japanese. And it's been smooth sailing ever since. We're basically studying each other's language, so we, uh, we help each other learn. Well, they do say the quickest way to learn a language is to find yourself a lover. I'm doing it wrong. I just need to have Dom speak to me in French and then I learn the language. What am I- what am I- Oh. Hi. <sighs> I said though I still can't say with confidence that I'm a true English speaker just yet. As long as I keep putting what I put study into practice, I feel like I'm getting closer to my dream. You'll get there sooner than you think. I'll be rooting for you. Gotta find yourself a German girlfriend. Yep, that's the key. I mean, no, it actually really does help. Whenever I plan on studying French, I'm gonna have Dom just speak to me in French and I'll just have to force, be forced to learn. That is the best way to learn. Would you mind if I offered you a little something? Oh. Hmm? You still have to pay for it, but I came up with a new recipe based on what a foreign customer told me. We have a limited amount of the ingredients, so we can't serve it to the public. But we'll make an exception for you, of course. You sure that won't be too much of a hassle? Not at all! It's the least I could do to show our appreciation. Please try it whenever you like. Try what? I'm assuming the molten cheese cart, uh, the cheese tart. I need health anyway, so if it's not the right thing, that's fine. Good stuff. Back to it. You're welcome! Oh, I guess it wasn't the right thing. Or maybe I need to come back at a later time. I bet it's toast. Uh, Style, thank you for gifting a sub to Nick. I appreciate it. Alright, main plot. Welcome to Paradise VR! Here you can play the latest in virtual reality entertainment! The one and only Dyson Cube! Okay. Sir, do you have play passes? Each course costs a different number of play passes. Isn't that the thing the homeless guy yep. gave me? Is this a play pass? Oh, a free trial pa play pass. You can play with just one of these. Have you played Dyson Cube nope. before? In that case, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm your receptionist today, Naisu Desu. 
As in, nice dice. I'm so sorry. We hope you have an amazing experience that brings you back for more. Thanks. I'll guide you through the short course today. Customers who do well on the short course will get a special surprise. The condition is to clear the stage with more than two dice left in your possession. Do your best! Is this what that homeless guy wanted? Guess I'd better beat the game and bring him back the prize. All th That's all there is to it. Now please put on these VR goggles. Ooh, we live it in the future now. And you're all set. Enjoy your trip to Virtual Kamurocho. Dude, awesome. Naisu Daisu, yep. Let's do this. Ooh. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, move, check items obtained, roll the dice, check bonus rewards, look around, toggle camera height. Okay. Well, hip it in and fresh new face. Howdy, the name's Koronyan. <laughs> And I run this dang old Dyson Cube game. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see. Back home, I always dreamed of being a big time mascot, and well, here I am. Sure is nice to have some company in this doggone virtual prison of mine. <laughs> now, let me learn you the rules. There are three basic things you ought to know about Dyson Cube. First, you can start rolling them their dice with X and stop them with X. Second, there's a limit to how many dice you can roll per game. And third, items you found around these parts are converted to cash rewards once all's said and done. But this third roll is mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than just running off at the mouth. Time for your first roll. Don't be nervous now, Sonny. Loosen up them shoulders and relax them cheeks. I like that. Loosen up the shoulders and relax the cheeks. I like it. Come on. One. Wow. Notice that the number atop the dice went down to one? That number shows how many dice you throw during this crazy old game, and when it reaches zero... Bang! Boom! Kablow! It's game over, Sonny, so mind that dice number whenever you make your moves. Oh, but the higher your number here, the higher the bonus you're gonna get. The bonus cha changes depending on how much you have left. Just press square to look at the details. Let's keep on going, Sonny boy. Here we go. One. I literally get one. Gift space gives you items to exchange. You might even get something rare and shiny to boot. This is a space where only good things happen, so you better thank your lucky stars if you land here. All right, a gift space. Take what you can get. Pretty good, sunny boy. You can cash this item in for 10,000 yen. Nice little trinket you got there. These item doohickeys, or whatever your kids call them, are exchanged for cash at the end. By the way, you can check the details of your items by pressing triangle, so keep that on your noggin. 15 spaces to reach the goal. Go on and roll them dice. Now. Oh, I got six this time. The famous Onomichio! Folks love that orange-headed fella, don't they? I suppose he's a worthy rival of mine. Oh, I was trying to talk to the guy. Wait. Wait. Can I talk to you? I'm very confused. Oh. Oh, check the bonuses. Wait, wait, wait. Onomichio! Oh, no! Luxury meal ticket. Oh, I want a luxury meal ticket. I wonder if that's what the homeless guy wants, actually. And then that's how you check your... Okay. Oh no! Beating up baddies on battle spaces, you earn something good, I tell you. For instance, more dice and items. A branching path, eh? Well, whichever way you go is up to you, but whatever fate befalls you is your responsibility alone. By the way, you can check what's ahead by pressing L1 and looking at your dang old map. Dude, this... Uh, they got... they got sass, bro. Oh, it's just like a regular board game. Oh, I see what's happening now. So we can go one and get that or that. Let's go this way. 
Here goes nothing. You got one dice. Eleven spaces to reach the goal. Come on. Open the Here safe. I forgot how this worked. Okay. You just have to follow it. It's been a while since we've Almost done one of these. There. Perfect. Phew. Pretty good, Sunny Boy. You can cash this item in for 30,000 yen. Sunny Boy. Initiating battle sequence. You landed on a two-star battle space, so get ready for a good challenge. Remember to keep your guard up. No. Uh, double stick value of battle where you slowly with a double stick. You cannot remove this weapon. You cannot change combat styles or enter X boost either. Uh, fight solely with a sword. Fight solely with a railgun. Oh. Golden enemies, uh, defeat them ca causes King Koronyan to appear somewhere in the city. If you run into King Koronyan, you will activate Koronyan mode. Okay. Mm! All of your items will get stolen from you if you encounter Koronyan. Oh. Why am I finding it so hard to fight with these things? I'm finding it's really clunky. I'm doing terribly. I just don't know how to fight with these. Yeah, the little mini lightsabers. It's really cute. Ten thousand yen. Okay, prepaid card. Dang. The goal draws close. It's just a straight path to the goal now. Watch your footing and get yourself on over to the goal. Hop to it. Roll em. Six. Damn it, I'm getting really lucky. The crossroads. Oh, the goal's like literally right there. We made it. All right. Hell yeah. Dude, <laughs> look at Yagami, he's so enthusiastic. I don't know, um, it's, uh, yeah, Mario Party in the game, basically. It was fun! That actually turned out pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> oh, wow! You breezed right through that course! Here's your luxury meal ticket for winning. Congratulations! Here's your free play, play pass bat for trying it out. Hope you see, hope to see you back again soon! Now I have to give this to a homeless guy and figure out where Red Nose is. I kind of want to play again. That was really fun. Yeah. Sorry, I'm addicted. That was fun. Yeah, we got 50k for that. That was pretty good. I got three sixes and a five. 
Here we go. Let's do this. Roll them. Three. My luck's gonna run out. Oh, a safe right off the bat. Here we go. Nice. Stupid thing. I have to do it all again. Oh, God. Almost there. Almost there. Perfect. I'm like holding my breath whenever I do that. I hold my breath every time. One. Wow, doing great. Yes. I got an item. Sushi! <gasps> This game is the best! All right, there is a six. All right, since we're a little bit screwed, let's go the shorter path. This is the shorter path. Ooh, battle. Not looking good. They do know. I actually don't. It's funny. I don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sushi IRL. It's just in the game. I love sushi for some reason. There is so much carnage everywhere. Oh god, he powered up. Ooh, head butted to death. You could say I'm RPing a sushi lover, sure. Another sushi set! Now. Another six, too, nice. We should make it. Which one? Nice. I made it. Hell yeah. Huh. <laughs> I love how excited Yagami gets. We got 21,000. Not bad for money in the game, actually. Unless I'm just getting really lucky, but it seems like it's a good source of money. Yes. Stealth extract. Uh, short course challenge for Dyson Cube is now unlocked. All right. Well, that's enough for right now. But I will, I will be back. That was super fun. Why are we so destructive in the game? I almost feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, the main reason I'm not a fan of sushi is just because most most sushi is uh, fish, and I don't like fish that much. But I, I have tried some veggie sushis, and I do like them, but I know that, like, sushi particularly is mainly fish even though there are other kinds and types. Hey pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Yep. Piece of cake. Oh, for real? I wasn't expecting you to actually win. What? Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fella. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. 
Try heading over to the children's park then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. Thanks, old man. Um, uh, Jago, thank you so much for gifting us up to, uh, Lean Type. I appreciate it. You guys are so nice. Incoming call. Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. Even the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief I'm is answering the phone in the middle of the Redmond. fucking street where this car is trying to get past me and I'm on my phone. Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? <laughs> sorry, car. I'm sorry. I I'll move. Sorry I was on the phone. I can only do one thing at a time. I can't walk and talk at the same time. I have to stand there. Ooh, friend. Domo. Greetings, sir. Would you care to see some breasts today? <laughs> I love when people greet me like this. <laughs> I'm talking some world-class lady loves here. Knockers that will knock your socks off. Some incredible flatables. Huh? Wait a minute. Yosuke-kun? Yeah? Uh, Yagami-san? What the hell were you just asking me? <laughs> you see, I'm actually working part-time as a barker. Oh. Don't you just wish someone would greet you like that? Hey, you want to see some breasts? <laughs> oh. I thought you were supposed to be a student. Hi. I am. In fact, I'm going to a vocational school right now. Well, then, why is a vocational school student working as a barker? <laughs> oh, a lot of us students do this kind of work. It's easy and it pays well, you know? Hmm. That may be true, but I must say, I'm not all that impressed with your career choice. <laughs> hey, now, this is actually a very important job. A noble undertaking, even. Oh, no. So, I will ask once more. Are you ready to witness the honkiest hooter experience you've ever had in your life? Huh? Dude, do these terrible names work on other guys? They're certainly not working on me. Wait, there's actually a reason why I'm doing this. Call it a greater purpose, if you will. I'll even beg if I have to. Well, he does seem to be pretty earnest about this. Should I play along? I could always take a quick peek. All right, we peek it. By the way, I didn't thank you before, Jago. Thank you for gifting a sub. Two subs. I got vaccinated here in my country and wanted to share with you and everybody cause I'm pretty happy. Thank you so much for your streams, three. I really enjoyed Aww, being Aw, congratulations on getting your vaccine, friend. Jago, thank you so much for the for gifting two subs to the community, to Ultra and Astro. Um, and thank you for the eight months, JJ. I really appreciate it. Congrats on your vaccine. Yeah. Hello, Thomas. All right, you're at least trying to take this seriously, so give me the club's name and let's be done with this. Oh, great. Thanks, man. That hey. bar barely went up. Oh, my God. You're not doing this because you're low on money, are you? Nope, this has nothing to do with money. My family's actually pretty well off. Besides, they are, there are bigger, more bodacious issues at stake here. Hmm. I'm curious about this uh, issue of yours. <laughs> I'll save those details for later. First, let me introduce you to the finest young hostess that Kamurocho has to offer. She's innocent, she's lovable, and she has a good heart. And to top it all off, your first visit's on me. Huh? You'd go that far just to get me into your club? Hi! To get you to meet this girl, I'd practically do anything. Hmm. Really now. Really, really. In fact, I'll even let you order the most expensive drinks in the club all on my tab. You can afford all of this how? <laughs> Dude, I make cash money on this job. I'm talking like 500,000 yen a month here. Huh? What? You earn that much just pestering pedestrians about breasts? I had no idea barkers could be so loaded. 
Yes, sir, this job is all about results. And just between you and me, the trick is to come up with as many euphemisms for boobs as you can. <laughs> Guys, just eat that shit up. That actually works. How many do you have? <laughs> Well, there's jugs, jigglers, jumbos, bosoms, biggins, bazongas, love bubbles, blouse biscuits. Should I keep going? <sighs> Actually, I do want him to keep going. I want to hear all of these iterations. I'm curious. How, how much further can you go? Righteous. Anyway, what I want is what I want you to do is head to Apple Pie over on Tenkaichi Street and ask for a girl named Mad Madoka. Okay, Madoka Kasan it is. Right, also, tell whoever's on duty there that I'll be footing the bill. I'll be chilling at the smoking area inside Kamuro Theater, so let me know how it goes when you're done. Okay, will do. Dang, he... <laughs> That's a lot of different names, just ways to say boob. I'm, I'm actually impressed by that. That's, that's a lot of boob. <laughs> that is, that is impressive. You gotta give credit where credit is due. Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. Did you set me up? Oh, come on, dude. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red nose sends his regards. Bums. Oh, don't call them bums. <laughs> I didn't want to step over the railing! <laughs> oh, that move is fun. I like that. Hi. Bye. You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? <sighs> we wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. <sighs> right. So their friend got murdered and they couldn't do a damn thing about Don't it? Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why? All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for- My bet's on Hamura. Must be Higashi. And you really think Yakuza, Higashi? The one who I don't know. <sighs> I don't, sure. I don't think it was y Higashi. Those types are kind of out of our league. I don't know why I have that know? hunch. We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we- Sorry. Because if, if Hamura, I'm assuming Hamura set all this up. Yakuza. Wait, hold on. Kaito's here. 
I'm assuming a camera set this all up, so um, if he did set it up and Red knows stealing the money, his goal was to get Kaito out of the Tojo clan, is my assumption. For some reason, we don't know. But he just wanted him expelled, so he set it up so that he would be. And so that would mean Red Nose would be like a loose end that he would need to tie up to make sure nobody could track to could track it or um, track it back to him. So that's why I think it was more Hamura than Higashi. I feel like that makes more sense, but I don't know. In his life. <laughs> that's Kamuro Joe for you. Anyway, hi Kaito. Son. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Please say no. Yep. That's him. Okay. Not a doubt in my mind. Wait, no, that makes sense. Never mind. If he was, what if Higashi was looking for him? So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Yeah, Who I do you think mm, killed him. I don't think Higashi did it. I think he was looking for him, I but I don't think the intent is murder here. Higashi's not a murderer. Yeah, I don't think that's the Where intent. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right, Kaito-san? His ex-best friend. Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Hmm. Let's hit it. Hi, Kaito. <sighs> oh wait, let's go to the popo. We have to make a friend. Hi, I'm here to make friends. Hmm? Hi. All right, 700 yen times 10. Math chat, 7,000 yen. Easy. So I'm supposed to send, spend 7,000 yen here. Let us buy more sushi. Do we need more cat food? You never know when you're gonna need more cat food. Uh, beer. A dry beer. Yeah, let's buy some beer. Beer sounds good. Um, Jack Daniels, it's a little bit pricey. I already have three toughness. Uh... Onigiri? Odin? And Onigiri. Perfect. Konbini so much. I do... I've only, like, seen Konbinis. But... I've heard great things about them. How they, like, truly have everything that you need. Seems you've gathered 10 points allowing me to present you a prize. All right, a record. I like having records. No, we haven't gotten around to listening to them yet. I'll get there. I want to collect a few more before I do that. Where am I going? Meh. <sighs> Sorry if I'm more quiet. I'm having breathing issues again. It's really annoying. Not a wise Whoa! That was really cool! That was fucking awesome! I want to do that again. Yeah, that was the leapfrog. I did the leapfrog X move. I just bought that, so I wanted to see if it would work, and it worked! And that was cool. Alright, Higashi, down here. Oh god, that's a wall. Higashi! 
Kazu-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money, maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. No. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. Aww. <laughs> Nice, Yagami. That was hot. Smooth move. What the hell are you doing? Take him out. Thanks for that. Now go. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn. What are they cool. trying to protect? I'm so Come confused. Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito-san. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Kaito's cute. for an enemy. Okay, that was really cool. Oh, when did Higashi, when did you get right behind me, bro? Oh, right in the balls. are very, um, nice. They're very nice. Yeah, this is the PS5 version. It is a very pretty game. Yeah, the fight choreography is dope. It's really cool. <laughs> it is really, really cool. Probably some of my favorite moves besides um, Akiyama's that I've seen. I really like it. I didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Yeah, we know, buddy. And who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. 
And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light, where the safe was, not to mention I like Akiyama's footwork, yeah. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza it's like, without some help. Yeah, one of the only things that really stuck out stuck out so, to me fighting wise. Is Red Style wise. contact the one who killed him to cover it all up? But Yagami, hmm. Probably. I love it. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. No That's shit. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. I get all this. This is... This is, is obvious gone, information. But why? He consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw this it. This is not answering the why he question. he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. Amara staged a robbery and pinned it on Kaito-san to get him expelled. No shit. But if Higashi knows all that, why is he at Hamura's beck and call? How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. How many but dirty cops are there? Me and Red Nose. We weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Amura, is that him? It's Higashi, sir. Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi. What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. He's such an innocent baby. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. Huh? <laughs> Hey, um, not really a good idea. Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I, uh, I, well, I, uh, I, uh, what was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. Oh, was I? Oh, okay. I, I, kept talking. I was assuming it was Ayabe. I Wait, that means that down. fuck knew all along. Probably and he didn't did, tell us? Honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want. I guess he didn't know I'm it was Hamra. You, Captain. But he but sold Captain. the same information to Higashi. Sure? Are you kidding me? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Ayabe over here making fucking Prove bank off of the same all. information. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. 
poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. All right, Hamura. I don't think that's the time to be coming out of the closet, but okay. What are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. True, the cops probably would suspect him. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. No, no way. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right yeah. move. Right. I think I got it. Hell Fuck of yeah. a thing. Little fruit fly. Alright, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. No shit. Hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? This is cool. When Tak was younger, his Backstory. parents were both stabbed to death. Holy shit. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Bro's 15? Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. Oh my. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. <laughs> the ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, He'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. 
And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why I took him in. Doc didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. He's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugani-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. <laughs> Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can live with that. You. I like having scenes without um, the protag. It's kind of nice. Previously, previously on Judgment. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Welcome the dev team. Skeletons in the closet. That doesn't sound too good. That was the bromance moment. That was a really, that was quite the bromance moment. You are right. Thank you for the hundred bits. <sighs> That was cute. All right, Matsugane family office. He's wearing joggers. So, Higashi, tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! <laughs> Higashi's situation is not looking too good right now. He can't really go against what Hamura says, and yet he still doesn't want to uh, be against us. I have a feeling he's going to die. I, I don't know how he would Hello. get out of that situation. Yeah. I feel like Higashi is doomed to die. Cap's awfully tense lately. Uh, kind of kills the whole room, you know? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Even if he leaves the Yakuza, Hamura would kill him. Mood. Like, he can't just leave, and if he stays, he's probably gonna end up dead anyway. Die! What the fuck? Hello? One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. 
You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Uh, oh, you mean so the guy who was getting more heated the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyorei's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyorei clan wants a war. They fell like for it. it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. Hmm. Yikes. Well, things are escalating very fast. Oof. Let's look and see if there's any more side cases we can take up here. My subordinate is missing. Oh. I would like to talk to you about helping me look for someone. I'll be waiting on M side cafe and a navy jacket with a purple shirt. All right. Uh, that's not good. I have a feeling that this, uh, well, it was made into a turf war, probably by Hanra, but I don't understand. Why is Hoshino Kun calling me? Can I answer my phone? Hello? This is Yagami. Yagami san! Oh, it's not coming through my. It's not coming through my phone! Lame. What's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office. Huh? What do you mean? It's something terrible happened. You've got to get down yeah. there. Genda Law? You better not be touching my homeboys over at Genda Law. I will fucking end you. I will end your life. Man, they are really targeting Yagami with everything in this game. Everything is targeting this man directly. And that is a major yikes. Well, uh, Genda Law Office is going through some shit, but there are side cases to go through. You see, when you have side cases, you, you do need to- we need to solve those first. Which, there's one up here. Hi. Excuse me. You must be Tanaka-san, the one who needed. Uh, uh, yes, that makes you Yagami-san, I assume. I'm Fuhihiko Tanaka, and it's pleasure to meet you. Likewise. So you're hoping I can find someone? Is that right? Yes, one of my employees, actually. Queen of Hearts. An employee. Yes, her name is Asami Morimiya, and she stopped showing up to work as of last week. I assume you're exhausted all the regular ways to get in touch with her? Naturally, but it seems even her friends haven't even heard anything, and she hasn't been seen at home. Not even her parents have seen her. Do you have any ideas about why she may have disappeared? Anything she may have been running from? Actually, she admitted to me that she had a stalker. That's alarming. She said this guy who works for one of our clients had started harassing her, but if we don't have any sway over their employees, of course, there wasn't much we could do. Then one day she just had- she just didn't show up for work. What about this stalker? If he's a client, can you give me a description or any distinctive features? No, I'm not familiar with myself. That's too bad. I regretted not being able to help her. I'd like to still- I'd like to meet up with her so I can apologize oh, yes. in person. I'd pay you 100,000 yen. Does that seem reasonable? Yep. I guess that's alright. That's good money. Do you happen to have any photos of Morimiya-san that would help me out a lot? Hi. Aww, look at the cutie. I love her cheeks. I have her cell in her email. I should give this to you too. Hi. It always rings a few times and then goes to voicemail. I had no response on email either. That would mean she still has the same cell phone and she's probably keeping it charged. If she's changed her number, it wouldn't even ring. Hmm. But there must be a reason she's not answering. Where is she and what is she doing? Oof. Um, chat, I, I understand that you guys are like trying to help, um, but micro modding in the chat, like when it's not coming from the mods themselves, doesn't really help. So just try to refrain from, like, micro-modding. It, it helps more than it hurts. Crystal. 
But I know you guys intend intend good things with it, but try not to do that. Um, Tate, thank you so much for the 44 months. I appreciate it. I guess her cell would be the best bet if I can use that to pin her down, pin down mm. her location. But how? Who could do that? Well, our good friend, the uh, florist. Even though he's not the florist. Oh, I ran into another side case. We go now to the bombing incident in Camarocho, where it seems we have an update on the device found at the scene. They're still looking into that bombing. According to newly released police reports, the bomb was handcrafted and included a remote-controlled timer. The police are continuing to search for any evidence that may lead to the culprit. Citizens are encouraged to call the police should they see any suspicious persons or unattended bags. In other news, the baby panda born last month continues to show healthy growth and... So basically, they're still hoping to find a lead. The bombings. A blocked number, could it be from the bomber? Uh-oh. Answering this could lead to trouble. We're not gonna answer? Answer the withheld call, come on. Nah, Chai, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just giving you guys like a heads up that it doesn't- that micromodding can be problematic. But don't- don't sweat it, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Glad you decided to answer the phone, I was getting lonely! The mad bomber strikes again, oh god. Are you the bomber? Why do you know my name? I've done my homework. You're a private eye, aren't ya? Eh, that's none of your business. Don't be like that, Yagami. This is fun, isn't it? Shut the hell up. Are you sure it's wise to take this attitude with me, or would you rather try to find the next bomb without any hints? That certainly changed your tune. I can hear it in your voice. I can feel the tension rising. What do you get out of this? What's your motive? Kamurocho's security system is so full of holes, the city should have sunk by now. Don't you feel like a fool for paying taxes when this is what the government has to show for it? A criminal wasting tax dollars on bombs has no business bringing that up. I like your style, Yagami-san. While I would love to debate this further, I'm afraid time's running short. Let's get started, shall we? You bastard. This new bomb I've set up in Kamurocho packs a real punch. There's an ox inside the inn. That's where you'll find it. An ox in an inn. Five minutes. I know that the hotel district is north of me, so probably if they're an ox in an inn. Let's go to the hotel district. That's the only lead I got. I know that Kamuro chose... Oh, oh wait, shiny. Sorry, I know that the bomb's ticking, but like, okay. Wait, does the clock run? Okay, uh, hotel district is up here. Ox at the inn, ox at the inn. I have no idea. Shit. I'm, I'm starting to think maybe it's not the hotel district. I want to think it's the hotel district. Um, 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 um. Uh. Oxen, oxen and in. I don't know if we're gonna get this. I don't think so, I don't think so, I don't think so, I don't think so. Alright, well, my gut told me to go to the hotel district, so we're gonna go to the hotel district, just explore. Okay, it's up this hill. Okay, hotel district. Hotel, hotel, hotel. I can't really, like, go in anywhere. Ox, ox, ox at the inn, ox at the inn, ox at the inn. Bunch of hotels, bunch of hotels. Top of the hotel, top of the ocean. Uh, what are you? Can I go up this or something? No, okay. Uh, 
hotel district. I don't know what these buildings are. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not gonna make this. Uh, hotel, blue turn. No, okay. Ox at the inn. Uh, you're an inn. Oh god, a really run down one. What the fuck? Uh, Hotel Valicia. Okay. Hotel Modern Square. I'm trying really hard to be observant. I don't know Camarocha that well. Hotel District. It's still going down a little bit. Oh, shiny. That's the batting cages. Okay. Fuck. Well, that didn't do anything. Shit. Okay, Hotel District doesn't go this way. Let's go back through. If it's not up here, then I genuinely don't know where it would be. Oh god, this bomb's gonna go off. I'm gonna get a game over. Shit. Can I go in here? An ox at the inn. Fuck, what does that mean? I only have three minutes. What does he mean by ox? Conroy? Oh, are they giving me a hint? Barbecue? Conroy? No, that's too many barbecue places to narrow it down to one. An ox, a cow, a, a Kishmario, there are two Kish Oh, oh god. Hotel district? Oh. Okay, well, I guess they don't let you get a game over. <laughs> they actually help you out, okay. Um... Where is it at? This- wait. Really? I was there! Fucking hell. I didn't know that that's what the ox meant. Don't- don't fight me right now. Are you kidding me?! He must have met the Akashimaru of the hotel district. What's the bomb? There, I found it. I'll just pull the wire like last time. I feel- I- all I had to do was walk in front of it. Man, I almost had it. You need to stop this. Wonderful! You've done wonderfully, Yagami-san! Listen, you son of a- hold your tongue! If you want something to blame, blame Kamurocho, not me! What do you mean? This couldn't happen if Kamurocho had invested properly in its security system. The automation of our lives, the citizens who accept it, the whole country is at fault! Is that anchor I detect? To the Yakuza 5 head detective. Love your content, Chris Hall. Thank you so much uh, for the two months. I appreciate it. What's wrong? You mad that nothing exploded? Save your taunts. You'll eat those words when you fail next time. Next time? Hey! Oh, come on. I have to do another bomb quest eventually. Alright, maybe I should go to the Genda Law Office. I hope nobody's dead. Sorry, I had to solve a bomb issue. I'm sure Genda Law is fine, guys. Huh? Wait, what the? You did it, so admit it already. Huh? I told you I didn't do it. There's no point in lying. Hey. Yagami san. Oh my god. Yagami kun. Ah. Mafuyu's here too? Oshino kun? What in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious! As you can see, Sayori san and Mafuyu san have accused me of a crime. A crime? Huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent, I tell you. Well, here we go. What is Hoshino being suspected hey. of? Hoshino-kun, what does Sayuri-san think you did? No. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her cake? Yeah, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Go to Gatu. I have no idea. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get! Uh, Is this really happening right now? 
In that case, why is Mifuyu involved? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I just happened to drop in at work related in a, on a work related issue. And you got dragged into this? Mm-hmm. Mm Sayuri's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshino Kun is really the one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Mifuyu is prosecuting the case for me. Prosecuting? Why is hey. he being suspected? Okay, I'll bite. Why is Hoshino Kun the most likely suspect? Hoshino Kun was the only one who even knew about the cafe. Only because he was, she was bragging about having gotten in in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake last seen? I went home around 8 p.m. last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Hmm. Then presuming Hoshino Kun is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 p.m. and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? Okay. Yes, I'm sure, jeez. There, there are no signs of four centuries, so I think the rules out that rules out any external parties as the culprit. I see, and who unlocked the office this morning? Genda Sensei got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu-san arrived. Saryuri-san was the last to arrive, mm. and that's when I discovered my cake was gone. Is this really happening? But that would mean Genda Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No, no way. Genda Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for the Western cakes and pastries. <sighs> That's your justification? Although I guess he wouldn't have much of a motive if it's true. Hey, you're up against a wall, Hoshino Kun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Mufuyu san, please. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. The longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Hoshino-kun. OBJECTION! If you ask me, Mafuyu-san is pretty suspicious too. <gasps> Excuse me? Did you just yell OBJECTION for the fun of it? Hey. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mifuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom, and let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. Mifuyu-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? Why would I... This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? Don't think I didn't hear it when you came in this morning. <laughs> your stomach growled. <sighs> oh, what? You heard that? Yes. You skipped breakfast this morning, don't, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you figured you'd peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Huh? Yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. Yagami-san. I know what is happening. Yagami-san, you're up. Mm -hmm. I am? Please, take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sayuri-san will glare at me for the rest of my life. Well, if, I, if, it, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. Please? I'm counting on you. Okay. Apparently, this is really happening. So the first good place a good lawyer starts is the crime scene. Wonder if the rapper is still in the trash. Hmm. Justice for the cake. Is there a cat in the office? I don't hear any meowing. This bag looks most suspicious. You look most suspicious. Oh. Kitty! Suspicious. Ah. I'm seeing that the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at okay. the seams. We take out the trash every da day and now on the rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Huh? Even Genda Sensei pi pitches <laughs> in? Well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sayuri-san made him do it. 
Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up on Adam. I said to him, don't you ever consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he would said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. The other trash cans are empty too. It seems Genda Sensei takes trash duty seriously. Noted, thanks for checking. Hmm. This cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anything else it could have thrown thrown away? I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is gonna blow this case wide open. Why is there a cat in the office? Explain to me why they're... Yeah, oh god, the cat's meow is gone. Hmm. Cat? Are you alive? I see, I see the cat, I see the cat! <laughs> oh look, a cat! Got him! It wasn't in the office. What the? Oh. This is Sayuri-san's desk, it's immaculate. Yes. Well, look who we're talking about! <laughs> My desk is the one opposite her. Seeing her clean desk is actually pretty motivating. Uh. Motivating, huh? Is it the neat desk or the person who sits at it that's motivating Sorry? you? Oh, what are you implying? <laughs> Nothing, you're just an open book. Ouch! Calling somebody out. Mmm, Yagami, that's that's low, man. Come on, Yagami Sensei, don't tease. Yikes. Yagami went there. Calling little baby Hoshino out like that. Did he deserve that? I don't think so. Oh, golf clubs. Guess Genda Sensei likes golfing. so hard to walk around this place. All right, anyway, where is the fridge? Oh, okay. Hey. Hmm? So this is the refrigerator where the crime happened. Ah. The ice tray is melted or did someone forget to freeze it? No. Nah, couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter probably. I know I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. Mm. Then why did it melt? That's interesting. Suspicious. No wrappers, but it looks like we've got some milk cartons. They've been washed out and nearly Yagami compacted. Son. Those are Sayuri-san's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. <laughs> Sayuri-san scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk, is she? I kind of doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Okay, I think we got everything. All right. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. This is actually, they're taking this so seriously. Okay. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Mafuyu, or should I say, Prosecutor uh, Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragged into this in this far. May as well see it through. Please. Then court is now in session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. The prosecutor is firmly of the belief that Hoshino-kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter-argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Prosecutor Fuji. 
If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun. Right, Yagami-kun? You can collaborate this statement, I take mm. it. Me. Hmm. If Mifuyu really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... the empty trash can. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Genda sensei was the first one in the office today, and that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means if Mifuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Hey. Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. This is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it, Sayuri-san. I can present a counter-argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. While the wrapper may not be in the trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable, Yagami-kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. Mm -hmm. New evidence? While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation naturally. And that's when this document on Sayuri's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of planned power outage. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor? It seems that there was a blackout last night scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. He warned the, the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had I had something urgent come up, so I left and all forgot all about it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Then that means precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have been spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm, mm. and if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right, and there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Mm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning, after the cake would have been spoiled, but last night, when it was still fresh. <sighs> oh, uh, hey, wait! I'm afraid so, Hoshino-kun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshino-kun, it can only be you. Ah! No way! Objection. Oh my god. Hmm? Excuse me? Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes, I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more part possibility. <gasps> this better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge. And I have p evidence to prove it. The milk Sayuri-san put in the fridge had been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons, to be precise. Genda Sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim himself. Herself. Hmm. I'm not following, Yagami. Let's consider, what would drive Genda Sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, there certainly is- that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There is one particular piece of evidence points to the logic behind his actions. Wait, uh, what explains why Genda Sensei threw away three market uh, at the same time? Well, because of the power outage. Check this out. The power no. outage? Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to the milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Genda Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh. oh. Then... Seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. Which means the true culprit that ate Sayuri-san's cake is... NOBODY! Yeah. <laughs> 
No one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. <laughs> what? I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Genda Sensei threw away the spoiled cake? Yep. That's about that's about the sum of it. Sayuri said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Genda Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I kind of jumped to conclusions. Oh. <laughs> this is so tiring. <laughs> we just took this so seriously for nothing. Quite a crowd in here. What brings you by, Yagami and Mufuyu-kun? Welcome back, Kenda Sensei. Say, who left that cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And all and on the day I had cleaning duty, of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. Oh. I believe the words were, don't you ever consider the people who have to take out the trash? Your words, right, Shirasaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning at all too well now. I'm so sorry! Thank you. Thank you, Yagami-san. It looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. <laughs> And I sentenced Sayuri-san to cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. <gasps> money! Okay, it was worth it. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the money. I've got to say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sayuri-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets get involved... You have no idea how long I've been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. A pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. Very eventful day for the criminal justice system. Couldn't be any better. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Kamarocho is pretty tense right now, and no thanks to the Matsugane family and the Kiri clan at each other's throats. Better ask Higashi about it. Justice is sweet, of course. So back to real plot. Glad we got that covered. I object with counter. No, that's wrong. Chris is. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits. I don't know anything about Ace Attorney, but I do know that meme. I don't think you need to know anything about Ace Attorney to know. Objection! Oh, can I jump on this car? It's a big one. Hell yeah. Do it again, do it again. I feel so powerful. You asked for it. Uh, the finger. Mm hmm. What a waste. I really need to deal with my mortal wound. I've had it for a very long time. I'm just too lazy to do anything about it. Oh, wait, there's a friend here. Oh, that's right. We did meet with it. I, did, I didn't want to go in the car, but okay. We met with this friend before. <clears throat> Damn, I can't freaking believe this. What kind of two-bit dump has the balls to refuse its customers anyway? Hmm? What was up with that guy? He was a little bit angy. I don't know. 
Would you care to learn about our Yakiniku challenge? Mm -hmm. Sure, what's it all about? It's got three trivia questions related to Yakiniku. Answer them right and we'll serve you the finest Kalbi Kermurocho has to offer. Oh boy. I don't know much. Sounds interesting. A worthy morsel for a worthy customer. With your knowledge, make the will your knowledge make the grade? Or will you end up getting grilled? I'm gonna end up getting grilled. Let's take the challenge. Yeah. Which of the following innards is located toward the rearmost part of the cow? I know nothing. Let's just say the kidney or the large intestine. I feel like it's not the liver. Although it could be. I'm gonna say the kidney. I have no fucking idea. I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. Such a shame. All right, well, uh. Yeah. Okay, so every time we get it wrong, we have to pay a thousand yen. That's fine. Uh, let's go. You know what? I thought it was the large intestine too first. So let's let's try that. My grandpa would know this. I definitely don't. Damn. All right. So uh, we're really bad. Uh, this is not my forte. Yeah. This knowledge just ain't my forte, man. Not it. It's not it. Liver. Let's go liver. Oh my god, it's literally the last answer! Okay. Yeah. Doing good. Small intestine! Of course I knew that! Awesome! Now then, on to the second question. Which of the following innards is considered to be the guts? Large intestine? Fuck! Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Stomach, let's try the stomach. Amazing! Okay, second try. Next is the third and final question. Which of the following cuts is used to prepare Calbi? Yeah, I know that. Um, it's the flank. Hmm? Was I wrong? <laughs> the opposite. You passed! Woo! I got it right first try! <sighs> you almost had me for a second. Don't pause like that. I apologize. I thought it would fit the mood. Back to the subject at hand, since you answered everything correctly, we would serve you the legendary Calbi. Not many customers are grounded enough in beef culture to get through all those questions you know. Yeah, we're cultured individuals, right chat? Absolutely cultured we are. We knew all of those. Thank you for your patronage. We eagerly await your return. Amazing, that Calbi was really something else. All right, why did I just suffer so much? Nah, that wasn't trial and error. Not at all. Okay, back to plot. Higashi! This guy hates me. Yagami? What? What are you doing here? Just here to chat. To chat? If Captain Hamura knew this, he'd... What? Never mind. Kill you? Don't gotta worry about that now. Or kill me? He's kill me. He's in no position to be coming after you anymore. You mean because of the shooting? Yeah, it really shook him up. He's been MIA ever since that night. Went into hiding even before the cops came. 
So, what do you want? Don't just stand there. You're a guest. Take a seat. <sighs> Sounds like the family's a mess right now. Got that right. The office is crawling with cops. Gonna head over there myself once I'm done with this. Why? <sighs> Gotta shore up the defensive line. The whole family's on duty for this shit. Right. I'm just wondering... Why'd the Curie decide to come after you now? They've been pretty quiet. It's obvious. Their second in command's in town and ready for war. Took the train up from Kansai and everything. Who's this guy? Name's Satoshi Shioya. The guy's a natural-born fighter. And soon enough, he'll be chairman. And he's the one who ordered the shooting? No doubt. Though he was targeting Hamura, not Kurimoto. What makes you say that? Take a look at this. It's a shot of Kurimoto right after the shooting. Ugh. Tough to look at. Man got bullets through both eyes. That's not what I want to show you. Look at his clothes. Hmm? His clothes? What about them? The captain was wearing the same jacket yesterday. He was wearing the joggers, yeah. Wait. They're about the same age. And they look the same from behind, too. Oh, Safe body to say, the double? Captain knows who they were really after. The Curie, clan, the Curie attack was meant for Hamra specifically, not the Tojo clan. Explains why he went into hiding so quick. <laughs> Funny how this all worked out. You don't look very worried. If the Kyore are gunning for Captain Hamura, why wouldn't they go for the guys who set him free, too? <laughs> what, you think they're coming for me? Nah. If anything, Shintani's the one who should worry. After all, he was Hamura's lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. He won't stand a chance with Yakuza gunning for him. If I were you, I'd at least give him a heads up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well then. Jo uh, Johnny Gap from Saints Row. I have no idea who that is. It doesn't. Eh. Some. There's a lot of this that doesn't make sense. Kim San? Though. How's my favorite know it all doing? Good? Who is this? What? The side, you know, from the Kahin game. And you're calling me why? what? What? Yakimi san, do not listen to him. Oh, shut your mouth. What the Kim fuck is happening? You okay? You want to see your friend alive again? Get your ass over here. That bastard. Shintani's gonna have to wait. I need to go save Kim san. What? Yeah, very, very loud punch. Indeed. This is so random. Yakumi-san, I'm so sorry. Hmm. I forgot how much you pissed me off, know-it-all. And I forgot how dumb you look, so we might as well call it even. What was that? So, this is our guy, huh? I've heard a lot about you, Yakumi-san. Rumor has it you're a skilled Look at this big guy. Buster. Uh, thanks? Muscly guy. The name's Honda. Renji Honda from the Kagan game. Pleased to meet you. Honda, shut up and help us kick his ass already. Help you? Come on, boys. Oh. oh. Ah. Dude, Honda, what the fuck? What the hell are you doing? I was looking forward to this fight. 
Not gonna waste it by just dogpiling the guy. Be glad to give you a taste too if you disagree. Hey, what's your deal? Just want to fight you. That's all. Oh. Huh? That's the whole reason I joined the Kayin. Locking fists with tough bastards like you. Okay. So come on. Let's tango. He looks really fun. Sorry, to but I tango really don't with. have time for this. Fighting's the only thing that keeps the world spinning, Yagami-san. I know you agree. <sighs> now, enough talk. I'm ready for some fun! He's ready for fun. I'm ready for fun too. Wait, wait. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, God. Ah, the mortal wound. Oh, my God. I was pressing. Wait. I'm, I think I'm pressing the wrong button to evade. Well, good thing we have a medical kit. That'll help those mortal wounds right up. I'll have to get more just in case. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. I was trying to grab and um, yeah, that's my fault. Oh my God, ow, you hurt. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. I forgot the button to evade. Oh. That is... Ow! Bro, you hurt so much? I'm about to get drunk. Where's my... Where is my sake? Let's get drunk. Can I get more drunk? <laughs> I started off this battle so well, what's happening? Ow! Maybe he needs a hug? trying to grab the bike. Oh man. He hurts a lot. Now, Shit, son. Talk. I'm ready for some fun. Fuck. I feel so dumb. That was like legitimately so dumb. Wow, that traffic on fucking hit me. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can solve this. I haven't done like any upgrades in the game. I should probably upgrade defense. That would, that would help, right? Talk. I'm ready for some fun. Wait, hold on, hold the phone. Upgrades. Yeah. Oh, is there like, is there defense in this game? I haven't done anything. No. Boost attack, boost combo speed, boost X gauge. What do I need for this? Find the corresponding skill book somewhere in the city. What? Oh, I guess I should be on the lookout for those. Let's just boost my combo speed.
Hold on, this is my... Okay. My redemption arc. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die. <laughs> no! I'm not too big on fighting for no reason, though. Oh, yeah? Look like you were having fun to me. You're a natural born fist flinger. I'm really not a natural born but... fist fighter. I think we're done here. What? Random bystander phoned the coppers on us. They'll be here any second. Go. What about your fight? I thought that's what keeps the world spinning. Can't exactly fight you if you're rotting away behind bars. What a swell guy. Yakami san, hurry! Uh, okay. Hey, that was a real hoot. Let's do it again sometime, Yakami san. That's fine. I'm good. But thank you. You know, I miss Jester. I want to see Jester again. I don't care about this <sighs> other plot shit. We should be safe now. Who was that guy, Kim san? You do not know? You oh, do not know? That was Honda. One of the Keihin Four. <gasps> the the Keihin Four? Oh, 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 it's what they call the four highest ranking members of the Keihin gang. Kasai, Honda, Sakakiba, and Koga. Each of the four has their own faction and countless thugs doing their dirty work for them. So there are two more? Yes. And I hear Koga's faction it's the strongest of them all. Oof. Yes. Word on the street is that they line their pockets selling weapons on the black market. Not even the Yakuza are keeping up with how powerful they have become. Well, then let's hope this Koga guy stays far away from us. So sorry. I'm afraid it's my fault that they are coming after you. That's eh, all good. Please, just be careful, Yakimi-san. You too, Kim-san. I'll try to be careful, but I'm really bad. <laughs> threat level. Uh, oh, okay. There may be Keihin gaming members swarming the streets. When the threat level is present, your chance of encountering Keihin uh, gang members is higher. I don't like the sound of that. Anyway, Warren Shintani. Yeah, that sounds good. Guess we're doing this. Jerk. And stay down. Mortal wounds. Maybe I should go buy more med kits. Uh, isn't the pharmacy near me? I thought the pharmacy was around here. That seems like a good thing to do. <laughs> Maybe you should stop at the pawn shop too. The clinic! Oh, wait, that's the doctor. Which I honestly should go see. I should go see him. We haven't been, so let's go do that. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, hey! Oh, that's right, I need to find you a thing. Let's go 
see this smile friend. Hi. Hey. How's our smile snapshot doing? <laughs> it's been chosen for the very best smile award. Congratulations. What can I say? It's all thanks to you, my very own smile sensei. Um, on my last nerve, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate the support, fam. You seem like you'd be a perfect fit for our next smile intern. Uh, not gonna happen. Aw, come on. Well, you're welcome to submit an application if you ever change your mind. In the meantime, I'll be doing my part by greeting every guest with the biggest smile I got. Oh, hey, we're done. Yeah. I'll come by every now and then just for that. That's right, I need to show you what's on the secret menu now that you won. What do I get? You get the legendary smile set! If it doesn't fix your smile in place, then it doesn't belong in your face. Huh? Now then, how can I help you today? The legendary smile set. Sure. I'll buy it. You've acquired a Kamuro Go coupon since you used 800 yen or more. The discount will be applied on your next visit. Oh my god, I get a discount coupon? Does it look like I want a discount fucking coupon? No. Good stuff. Wait, shiny, loot. Sure. Everything is so smooth in this game. No loading screen to go down a manhole. It's all connected. You just have your cute little animation. It's beautiful. I love it. You need anything, Yagami-san? Yeah, um, I need a medical kit. Holy shit, these are expensive. I already have two. Do I really need more? Now nah, we'll get one anyway. Yeah. What's up? No sweat, Maraboshi Sensei. Good to see you. Excuse me. You see, it used to be a part of the medical university. What was that like? That was a long time ago. Thinking back on it now, I can't believe I got swept up in all that bullshit. All I ever thought about was how to get tenored and even at the cost of the the people that around the cost of the people around me. Couldn't trust anyone. After I left the hospital and ended up on the streets, those folks were the only ones who showed me any kind of dignity. They've been taking care of me ever since. Wow, I had no idea. Moroboshi sensei help! We need a doctor! What's wrong, Hamanaka-san? It's Kondo-san! He's gone into an accident! <laughs> what? We're bringing him here right now, so can you take a look? <clears throat> Alright, I've done everything I can, but we don't have enough blood for a proper Yagami transfusion. Yagami-san, Hamanaka-san, I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. We need people who can donate type O blood to Kondo-san. Several of them. I'll ask around the homeless community. I'm gonna ask around the champion district, so could you take care of Public Park 3? Public Park 3, got it. You need anything? I need a checkup, too. 20,000 yen? Expensive, bro. I like how he has a patient that needs blood ASAP, and I'm just sitting here like, hey, but I need a checkup first. I'm more important. Kind of feel like an ass. My glasses. I hate when there's that one spot on your glasses. It's really bugging me. Really, 
guys. All right, Shintani. Excuse me. Is Shintani Sensei not here? Beats me. What do you need him for? Just wanted to ask him about something. I'll try back later. Hold on a sec. Yagami. You plan on twiddling your thumbs until Shintani comes back? Are you bored? I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> Good. Then I'd got the perfect job for you. I have a client who needs a bodyguard. I want you to fill the post, Yagami. Hmm? A bodyguard? What kind of clients are you taking these days? It's just a messy custody battle that's going to court. I'm representing the mother. Her name's Azusa, Azusa Otaki. As, Azusa Otaki, and her daughter is Karen. They're set to appear in domestic affairs court today, and I'd like you to protect them until they got there. They get there. Who do they need protection from? <sighs> Apparently, the father was Yakuza until very recently. The way she tells it, she got into a huge fight with him and had to flee with her daughter. So you're giving her a bodyguard uh, just because she's he's ex-Yakuza? Isn't that kind of an overreaction? This poor woman doesn't seem to think so. She said her husband would do anything to get his daughter back. Her husband's name is Jin Otaki. It might not even come to it, but can you protect them from, from him if it does? Mm. Yep. Seems pretty clear. Who knows when Shintani Sensei will be back anyway, so Thank I guess you. I'll help. Hey. By the way, ever heard of Shune Oik Oikawa, the lawyer? Mm -hmm. Oikawa? No, don't think I have. He's representing the father, but he's formerly one huh. of mine. Yeah. He was gone before he started. One of the those elite types who passed the bar really early in life. But he wanted to win his cases by any means necessary, when bribery or with even bribery or blackmail. Eh, I'm surprised I haven't heard of him then. He was good, had some real potential. That's why I came down hard on him and about changing his ways, but he didn't give a damn. In the end, I had no choice. I fired him. I thought maybe that would be the wake-up call he needed. But all it did was give him a chip on his shoulder. I swear, the, the man only lives to beat me now. Hmm. Out of revenge for firing him or something? Yeah. Yeah, but living for revenge just makes you sloppy. He'll probably never learn. Anyway, do you know where the, this mother and her daughter are now? They were here not long ago, actually. He said that they had some shopping to do, and I couldn't stop her. <sighs> for being her legal counsel, she didn't seem to want to take my advice. Mm. Sounds like a lovely family. Any idea where they might have gone? Getting some clothes to make themselves presentable in court. To La Marche! So many friends in this game. Feels nice. Feels nice to have friends. Okay. I can make another friend in here in the smoking room. Hi! Wanna be friends? Oh, it's Yosuke! I have to head over to Apple Pie on Tankaichi Street. Oh. Wait, if this is a smoking area, I I can do that too, right? I have smokes. Or not. I could have sworn I bought some. Ah! Oh. Never mind, it doesn't let me... Oh, wait! When did I have a message? Joe Masuda? Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Look at the Yosuke's icon! That's a mood. Yosuke, nice icon. Uh, I can't figure out. You're, you're my friend. Maybe I'll just buy everything. 
from you. I think she told me to try something specific. I just don't remember. Back to it. Pardon me, sir, but could I get a minute of your time? Hmm? What can I do for you? Well, my name is Mami Sakuma, and I've been working here for a while now. Hey, it worked! Basically, I'm looking for customer feedback. Would you mind describing how that tasted just now? Sure, I tend not to hold back, though. That's fine. I've been training to make each pastry exactly like the owner does, so I need all the constructive criticism I can get. Sounds like you're working hard. I try, but it's all a part of following my dreams, so I understand. Because one day, I'll be the best patisseur in town. It's nice to be passionate about your job, isn't it? Of course, so would you mind sharing your thoughts on the road to, on the road to perfecting confections? Every comment counts. Yep. Sure thing. Thank you so much. Now, can I ask what you thought of that cake? So the seasonal cake is good. It's got fresh fruit. It's got fresh flavor, but... I feel like the cake itself is losing out because of the generic name. Give it some flair. Now that you bring it up, it does sound a bit dull. Just a bit. When it comes to marketing a product and naming it some something memorable is one of the most important parts. I'll remember that. Thank you. That was actually quite insightful. <laughs> it's just my personal opinion, so take, take it with a grain of salt. Not at all. You always give me re very reliable feedback, so I hope you'll come back more often. After all, this place takes the cake. You think so? Well, I'd hate to see you desert us. I'm leaving. We got a customer waiting here. Ah. Wait, you're Yagami at your service. How you been, Norimoto-kun? Not bad, I guess. Let me take you to your seat. Right this way, please. When I came here the other day, Mahari-chan was the one who took care of me. For real? It turns out she's looking for a boyfriend right now. For real? I also asked what type of guy she's into and she likes him friendly and funny. For real? You're gonna have to do better than saying for real all the time if you want to get her to notice you. For real? <laughs> yes. For real. Ugh, I'm telling you, stop saying that. Yes, sir. Mm. What can I do to make myself more interesting? Well, I'm no pickup artist, but I've developed something I'd like to call the Yagami system. You are the real prize. Asks a lot of questions, go for it. As soon as you, and make her feel comfortable. Last but not least, ignore her calls the next day. Or if you really like her, invite her out again. Wow, the Yagami system's incredible. I'll definitely give it a try, and as thanks your order today is on me. The Yagami system. Okay. Good luck, Norimoto-kun, you got this. Good luck, dude, with the Yagami system. I'm just gonna leave now. I like making friends. Feeling like I have a friend is nice. Get out of the way! I guess I don't need to go home yet. I'll check the fridge another time. It seems like I need to buy skill books though in places, so let me- I'm just gonna quickly check the shop, see if they have anything. I'll check Don Quixote too. Just in case I'm missing something in the game. You can buy paint? 
White paint for drone frames. Oh, I can paint my drone. Oh, this is probably parts for the drones. Ah, let's buy some of these. Paintings? A horse figurine and then a bunch of shogi pieces. Some plates. Okay, well, sure. The old Yagami system. The man is wise. You should heed the Yagami system. Don Quixote, do you have anything I want to buy? God, I hate walking. Oh, yeah, we need toughness. Since I got pummeled. And you know what, whiskey? Okay, we don't need more whiskey. But you know what? We could always need we could always use more cat food. For no reason whatsoever. Is the wife I'm supposed to be protecting here? That must be her. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you Azusa Otaki? I am. Who are you? I'm Yagami. Genda Sensei asked me to look after you today. Oh, Yagami san. Yes, Genda Sensei did mention you. Well, nice to meet you. Hmm. Is your daughter around? <laughs> Karen? You didn't see her? No. Uh, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, really? She was here just a second ago. I got so focused on the clothes, I guess I didn't realize. Is she lost? That's not good. She's an easy target for the husband if she's alone. Well, what should I do? I'll go look for her. Stay here in case she comes back. Okay. Maybe someone around here saw something. I should ask around. Yikes. Um, yo, did you see anything? You're my friend. Huh? You actually remembered me? But of course, I remember all the names and faces of my valued customers. Call it a policy of mine. Eh, it's classy. I like it. Thank you. Now, uh, please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. My name is Nataro Terahara. This is Yagami. I appreciate that. I'm Yagami, by the way. Hello. Well, let me ask you, Yagami-sama. Would you be interested in a custom-tailored suit? Hmm? Ooh, I would. Hmm. I want to get the drip. I don't really dress formal anymore. <laughs> oh, is that so? I personally think you'd look quite handsome in a popular, uh, properly fitted suit. <laughs> You sure you're not just buttering me up? Oh no, sir. My compliments are 100% butter-free. I pride myself in making every suit unique to match the customer's needs. So if you ever feel the need to spiff up your overall appearance, I'd be more than happy to assist you. Whenever I need a suit, I'll come looking for you. Oh shit, I want a suit. Can I buy a suit now? Gotta wait a little bit. Wow, really? Stop punching me! for all the broken cycles and signs in the city. Shh, shh, shh. Look, I swear. It's not... I, I, I'm innocent. 
I almost forgot what I was supposed to do. Okay, I'm supposed to be looking for a girl. Excuse me. Have you seen this child? I can't seem to find her. Oh, I think I saw huh? her earlier. She was strolling toward Nakamichi Street. Nakamichi Street, thank you. I almost forgot about my current quest. I just fought some bitches! Dude, he was grabbing my ass. At least he knows I got a dong. I got a nice ass. He knows it, bro. He wanted to grab it. I don't blame him. Really, guys? the heck? Ah. Her. She looks like Karen Chan in this hey. photo. You're Karen Ota Ota Otaki, are you? Who are you, mister? My name's Yagami. Kenda sensei hired me to look after you and your mother, and she lost track of you. So mom suddenly cares about me? I'm big enough to do what I want, so leave me alone. Ah. I can't do that. Oh. If mom and dad want to get divorced, fine. I wish I could just go live by myself. Hmm. Is she really that nonchalant over the divorce? Boy. Karen, what are you doing here? Oh, Daddy, I was looking for you. You were? You sure you should be doing that? Your mother would be pretty upset if she found out. I don't care. Hmm, for a former Yakuza who'd do anything to get his daughter back, he doesn't seem too desperate. Dad, I wanted to give you something. Huh? Karen, stop. What do you think you're doing wandering off like that? I told you I was going for a walk and you said okay. Well, it must not have heard you right. Come on, Asusa. You really want to go through with taking full custody of Karen in this divorce? I couldn't be more serious. Karen would never reach her full potential with you around. I'm going to raise her right. Huh? Like you have any right to say that. I'm her father and I... Come on, Karen. We need to get back to Genda Sensei. Aww. I told you, get a divorce for all I care. Uh. What do you think you're doing, young lady? I said let's go. Yikes. She sure as hell doesn't hold anything back. Nope. Ah. Karen Sean threw something away, did she? A ticket to a circus. Was this what she was trying to give her father? I'm gonna hold on to this for her until she's calmed down. They're gonna be back to the office, I think. We better get after them. Oh boy, back to the office. I don't like getting involved in family drama. That, that shit ain't exactly my forte. Ugh. Oh no, oh no, that's a purple prank. Can you not? Can you leave me alone? I'm very bad at this game. I'd rather not fight you. Oh. Hmm? You! Are you Karen Chan's father? Why are you here? Smiling man. This place hasn't changed at all. Still in desperate need of a cleaning crew. Oh, Ikawa, what the hell do you want? That's not a name on my whiteboard. Oh, Ikawa, that's the father's attorney, if I recall. And Genda Sensei's former apprentice. Genda Sensei's former apprentice and the father's attorney. Okay. No need to be prickly, Genda Sensei. I'm only here to put, put an offer on the table. Say what? A settlement. Don't you think they're, these two are capable of an amicable custody decision outside the courts? Of course, that would be everyone's benefit, but... Uh -huh. Hey, I have no intention of handing my daughter over to him. Oh, really? Perhaps you'll reconsider after you see this. Ooh. Uh -huh. And this... 
Oh, 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 is she hanging out with another guy? Mm. Mm -hmm. How did you get these photos, Oikawa? My client suspected his wife might be cheating on him and hired a private investigator. Cheating? That guy was just a salesman. It was nothing lurid. He offered to buy me a drink and I accepted. It was completely innocent. <sighs> I'm afraid lies don't hold much way in court, ma'am. Here's a slightly more decisive photo. Oh. That's a hotel. <gasps> What's going on, Otaki-san? What is this? I don't know anything about this. I went home after a few drinks, I swear. <laughs> I'm afraid the photo is a clear contradiction of that, ma'am. Is your memory foggy? According to the PI, you were rather drunk. <sighs> That's... <sighs> I admit I wasn't expecting pictures like this to turn up. No, this is a setup. It has to be. Mm -hmm. A setup. Oh no. Good morning, goofball. Remember how I promised you a quarter for each copy I sold of my first book? Sexy's forcing me to finally write it. Thank you for sending me poutine. I will eat it, but I'm gonna take it off. I forgot to take it off the my list. The problem is Dom is on a diet right now, and every time we get poutine, it's like actual torture for him, so I'm gonna take it off so it doesn't make him feel bad that he can't have bad food right now. Thank you for sending it to me, though. I do appreciate it. That's my fault. I should have taken it off. Thank you very much, though. Okay. It couldn't be a coincidence that this man appeared right before my trial, and I'm sure his contact info is bogus, too. Besides, I can hold my liquor just fine, and I found it strange that I felt so drunk last night. I can only imagine that I was drugged. This is some kind of elaborate trap. Hmm. That's a typical scheme to pull on a guy, but I suppose it would work on a woman, too. Would Oikawa stoop this low? Again, it's just an option on the table that you may want to consider before we go to trial. With evidence like this, I have my doubts your client would win the custody battle. And if he, we can prove infidelity, we could even end up asking for damages. What are you getting at? Spit it out. My client is not heartless, Kenda Sensei. Give him full custody and there won't be any damages to pay. Uh, Bong Bong Shu, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. I appreciate it. Now, don't apologize. It's not your fault. Hey, I like the food, so I'm going to eat it, but I just feel bad for Dom. <laughs> it's my fault. It's my fault. You're as dirty as you've always been, Oikawa. I'm gonna guess the salesman was your plant. Just give my client custody. All she needs to do is sign the newest draft, draft of divorce papers. Don't you understand, Genda Sensei? You've already lost. Checkmate. Lost? Trials aren't conducted by pieces on a board, o Oikawa. <laughs> so says the king about to be toppled. What's the point of, point of battle if you aren't about to win? Please, Genda Sensei, I didn't do this. You believe me, don't you? I want to, but if this was a setup, maybe I could trace it back with some to some evidence. Seems like a worth uh, seems worth putting in the time. Excuse me. I'm stepping out for a bit, Genda Sensei. Don't let anyone uh, sign any papers just yet. Mm -hmm. Yagami? All right. Uh oh, Oikawa is not too happy about it. He doesn't look too happy that I'm going through this. I'm gonna prove him wrong, and he's gonna be all pissy. Wow. Ow. I'm, I'm having trouble. Why can I not dodge? I tried dodging, but it no wouldn't let me. Maybe it's because I was mid combat. Uh, oh, wait. I'm going to the ho okay. hotel district. Just the wrong section of it. All right, we gotta find the hotel. Not over here. The 
this one? This is the love hotel where that picture was supposedly taken. Can I help you, sir? Are you here alone? Oh, yeah. You work here? Mm. Yeah, I'm the receptionist. Oh, I see. You're the contact, right? <laughs> contact? Doesn't matter who you are. Give me 100,000 yen and I'll delete the footage. Huh? I think you must have the wrong guy. I'm Yagami from Yagami Detective Agency. Mm -hmm. You're a detective? Yeah. I'm on a case right now and I'd like to ask a few questions if I could. Damn it. I forget I said anything. I gotta hurry. What? Old geezer. Mm -hmm. There you are. You're late. Ah. This guy. The man in the picture. Ah. What do you mean you haven't deleted the security footage yet? I already paid you. You said you wouldn't. De you would delete it if I gave you the money. Ah. Sorry, but my pockets seem to have holes in them. Better make it double. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, old man. You delete that shit right now or I'll fucking kill you. Hey, you know Azusa Ataki, don't you? Huh? Who the hell are you? Just tell me if you were really here with Azusa Ataki. Is this business about the security footage related by any chance? Who could say? You can, and judging by the way you're panicking, I'd say that footage has some incriminating evidence on you. <laughs> Oikawa told me told you to make sure it got deleted, but the deal with this old man started falling through. That about some of things? If you're gonna get in my way, I'll kill you. Not a wise choice. He doesn't even get a name. Just street some street thug. <laughs> Defeat the punk. Gladly. <laughs> Hey. You said you hadn't deleted the footage yet, right? That's right, I figured it would be worth a nice chunk of change and I was right. Let me buy it off you then. You need it? How much you offering? Depends on the content. If what I need is there, I'll pay you the full 100k. <laughs> My money. This game is so expensive. Ghost is clear. We're fine. I want to see about 10 minutes of footage from 8.27 p.m. You have that? Yeah, it's all here. Mm -hmm. Gotta hope the security camera caught something. Did it? Oh, we're about to find out. Hold on. Suspicious. Hmm. What the? This guy was almost certainly hired by Oikawa, but the problem is the woman next to him. Suspicious, huh? That woman he's with isn't Azusa-san. Ooh. The timestamps line up, so how does a shot taken at the same time seem to have two different women? Was the photo digitally altered? If the woman wore the same clothes, they'd just need to swap out her face. It's pretty clear proof that Oikawa is using dirty evidence. Uh, oh, and it's gone. Okay, asshole. Yeah, that thing is busted. Ah. There are no copies, right? If I find you copied this, I really will kill you. That was the only copy. <laughs> Looks like I win. That tape will never see the light of day. Really? Ah. Yagami. Just soak it in rice, it'll be fine, it'll repair itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you photo of your client going into the hotel with that man, it was fabricated. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ikawa, you. 
I won't take these baseless accusations lying down. Do you have any proof? Uh. The PC it was on got destroyed. Someone went to some pretty extreme measures to eliminate uh. it. Then this time, then this isn't even worth discussing. Did you bring this photo here in advance of the trial because you were afraid it could be proven false? Listen to yourself. Paired with your client's hazy memory, this photo is both valid and decisive. And no judge in his right mind would take your client's side with photo evidence like this in my hands. Otaki-san, what will it be? Pay for damages as well as to let this photo drag you through the mud in court? I am so not into this case. Oh my god. This is far outside of plot that I care about. I want the main plot back. There's no way I can win, right? If I'm gonna get hit with damages and become a tabloid laughingstock, I'd rather just pay the pa sign the paperwork now. Let's not be rash. We should at least discuss your options first. Genda-sensei, I've had enough. In the end, you couldn't help me. I've already made up my mind. Now my client will have full custody. Looks like I win, Genda-sensei. <gasps> Put whatever you want on the stupid paper. I'm gonna move out on my own. You two can fight all you want. Karen, you'll do no such thing. Don't you want to live with your father? Yagami. You think they've even considered their daughter's feelings in this, Yagami-san? If she ran out with a kid, what I'm saying is, do you think that they've even discussed her wishes before hiring lawyers? Hmm. She's old enough for her opinion to matter. Actually, I think I know exactly how she feels. Say what? After Oikawa busted in, I didn't have any time to bring this Here's up, but I have evidence that I think points to what Karen wants. Karen Chong wanted her father to have this, but she ended up tearing it Say up what? instead. Yep. I bet this is a representation of how she mm -hmm. really feels. Huh? The number's significant, <laughs> I think. Thanks, Yagami. I think that there, there may be an amicable solution to this after huh? all. Hey. Karen-chan, is there something you want to say to your parents? I don't know. I understand you were trying to give this to your father. There are three tickets here. This is what you really want, isn't it? Karen, what are you getting at? I think I see it. Yeah. I wanted the three of us to go to the circus again. Again? Don't you remember the last time we went? You guys were so mean to each other before. But after we got back from the circus, you were fine. You were smiling and laughing. I thought maybe if we went to the circus together again, it might work out the same way. If that was the case, why did you tear up the tickets, Karen Chong? That's... You're holding back, aren't you? I'm... Hey. Karen Chong, they're the only parents you'll ever have. If you have something important to say, don't swallow it. Get it off your chest, young lady. Say what you're feeling. How I really feel? Yeah. No time like the present. If you don't, you'll come to regret it eventually. <laughs> Enough of this. We're past the point of reconciliation, I'd say. <sighs> you're right, mister. I have been holding something in. But what's the point? Even I told you guys you wouldn't listen because you just want to get divorced. Karen, no, we'll listen. I don't want to live by myself. I want the three of us to live together. Oh. What's so hard about that? I don't want us to be apart. Knowing how your daughter feels, are you really past the point of reconciliation? Have the two of you even discussed the matter since Azusa and Karen left? I imagine you haven't. It's true, we haven't. May I suggest you start there? And if you still want to file for divorce, I'll be here. We do need to consider our daughter in this. We've been rash. As parents, we owe that to her. <laughs> That's that, then. Looks like you've dismissed- you're dismissed, Oikawa. Hold on, Genda-sensei. You can't just abandon the fight. We won't accept that. If there's no case, you don't get paid either, you know. Sounds like you still don't get it, Oikawa. Nani? Our job is to get the best result possible for our clients. We stand by them as they make life-changing decisions. If you're making choices based on your own personal pocketbook or your pride, why do you deserve clients? Huh? What are you getting at? Listen, at the end of the day, if it would benefit the client, it's okay to lose the trial. Okay to lose? In what world? If winning the trial is all you're concerned about, you'll never be more than a mediocre lawyer at best. 
fuck this. I'm not gonna stand here and let you lecture me. This isn't over. Not by a long shot. I won't accept this. Good grief. You still don't get it? Jin-san, isn't a divorce in your best interest? She's already proven that she'll latch on to the first man she finds. But her lawyer is saying that the guy was a setup. Hardly. Those are baseless accusations and there's no evidence to prove it. And your wife simply doesn't remember? You're gonna accept that? <laughs> no one in their right mind could, right? Your, feeling about, your feelings about your wife haven't really changed. Besides, do you really expect the two of you to get, al get along just fine after this? Hardly. You're probably right, but still. Damn, Milikawa's stupid too preying on his insecurities. He's losing confidence in his decision. <laughs> these pictures are as real as the earth is round. You can't allow these people to cloud your path forward. Oh, yikes. Excuse me, is there a Yagami-san here? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Finally found you, Yagami-san. The reception is from the Love Hotel. What are you doing here? I looked up your office and I didn't find you there. Then this Yakuza-looking fella told me I might find you here and here you are. Excuse me. Uh, that's great and all, but we're kind of in the middle of something here. I have an offer for you. Didn't you say you wanted to buy that data? I did, but wasn't the PC destroyed? You said yourself that there was no other copies. Right, and I'd say that again if that blonde asshole was here to threaten me. But the truth is, I did make a copy. Figured there might be a profit in it. Huh? Might be pretty valuable, eh? 100 G's, you buying? My money! Hmm. That's pretty outrageous. Can't you go any lower? Guess we don't have a deal then. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Genda Sensei, I need to borrow your computer and cut me a check for 100k as a business expense, please. Say what? Better be worth the price, Yagami. Yagami. Hey. Do you know what this is, Oikawa-san? You worked very hard to make sure no one ever saw it. Check this out. Great, so evidence that you fabricated the photo. This is security footage from the Love Hotel. I think you owe us an explanation. As you can see in the photo, it's the same timestamp as in the video. But notice anything different about the woman? It's obviously impossible that he entered the hotel, hotel at the same time with two different women. Therefore, Oikawa's photo is bogus. It's been doctored. Say what? Oikawa, you'd stooped to forgery. You finally dug yourself into a hole. What do you think would happen if this case came to light in court? Would you could uh, why you could lose your license to practice? <laughs> Got him! If you still want to go to trial, I'm willing, Oikawa, but it's your call. <laughs> Seems to me we'd start on a custody battle and end on a malpractice trial. Damn the both of you! Ah, he sure are left in a hurry. <sighs> Stupid kid, so immature still. Kids these days. Nah. Dad, Mom, we don't need this anymore, right? Oh. Aaron, you're right, we don't. Yagami. You really saved me this time. Nah, it was kind of honor seeing you'd be that kind of lawyer. I always knew you were. <laughs> ah, so unlike Oikawa, you get it. You know, if you ever wear the badge again, I think we can make it work. You did some impressive work out there today. <laughs> I did what I could do as a detective. In fact, I learned something today. I don't have what it takes to be a lawyer like you, Genda Sensei. I'll pass. <sighs> oh, shit! More money! What is it about all my students that they become mediocre lawyers? Maybe it's me. <gasps> Mediocre, you lumping me into that? Oh, Shintani. How long have you been back? <laughs> Finally, what this plot is supposed to be at. Looked to me like he, things were getting pretty nasty, so I kept quiet. Wouldn't want to spoil the moment. It's good timing all the same. Didn't you need Shintani for something, Yagami? Yes, we did. And we got money, so I can't complain. We didn't lose our 100,000 yen. You have a sec, Shintani-sensei? Huh? There's something I need to talk to you about. Huh. Perfect timing. 
I got a few words for you myself. Huh? Come on. Uh oh. I don't like the way he said that. I really want to see Jester again. I'm Sounds eager. Sounds like Hammer is not too happy with you. Huh? He says to quit digging around. I always fall we for the, the mysterious X done. characters. And I gotta say, I agree with him. Or was my victory not good enough for you? Oh, your victory and yours alone, huh? <laughs> you heard me. I was the lawyer. My victory. And thanks to that. Work's been just flooding in. You're welcome. It's over, Yagami. Let it die. Your work might be over, but the murderer is still out there. This mole you're dying to catch? Well, fuck right off! Your little detective game has done enough damage. Why don't you just leave this alone, huh? Hamura knows who the murderer is. He hid it from us the whole trial. And that innocent verdict made fools of us all. Maybe you're okay with that, but I'm not about to give this up. Ha! <laughs> you talk big, but you're just a mouse, and Hamura's a hungry fucking cat. Funny, he's the one in hiding. The Kyore are gunning for him. That's what the shooting was about. That See, didn't look good at all. Hamura knows he's a target. And I believe he's not the only one who should be worried about himself. Do you get the picture? Huh? Keep your eyes open. I'm telling you this as a friend. Otherwise, you do you. I'm gonna do the right thing. <clears throat> Don't talk down to me! <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? <laughs> Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. What do you mean? He knows some shit! Oh! You know something. He I let it slip, bro! Hamura trusts you. Now tell me the damn truth! What about stopping the mole? You willing to take responsibility Ooh, for another murder? Don't talk like I owe you. Attorney-client privilege. Not like you'd remember it. Go back to school. Shintani! Well, that's no good. I thought you said that you respected that guy, Yagami. Yikes. That's a big old yikes. Uh, well, I kind of knew Shintani was going to be upset, but that's pretty bad and really sus. So, oh. Oh. Not looking so hot. Oh, gotta answer my phone. Hello? Yo, Yo what up, Kaito? I'm out in front of the Masugane office. Looking into the shooting? Yep. Place is absolutely swarming with cops. Kuroiwa's running the investigation. Kuroiwa? Kuroiwa? You mean Ayabe's That's, boss? That's, yeah. The handsome yeah. man. Speaking of, Ayabe's here, too. Oh, God. Thanks convincing cop when he tries. I was actually thinking I'd invite him over to tender. Try and get my hands on that juicy police info, you know? <laughs> you mind coming along? Not at all. See you over there. All right, cool. So we get to meet the handsome cop, then? We've heard legends about Kuroiwa, but we have yet to see the man. I swear, if he's not handsome, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. They've talked him up. Oh, 
and stay down. Oh wait, wrong. What am I doing? Why did I go in there? Wrong place. Tender, 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 tender. <laughs> Sorry about the bike. Ayabe! You must be making a killing with the state this city's in. Ain't that right, Ayabe? <laughs> And it's all thanks to you. Do you know uh, anything about the Matsugane shooting last night? I they really do be a Not little bitch. Much, no. But hey, I thought you got Higashi for all your Matsugane needs now. Word travels fast. Who told you that? Kaito. Just now. Huh? You forget how to keep a secret, Kaito-san? Or are you trying to get your buddy killed? Higashi's screwed if Hamura finds out he's been helping us. Look, man. There's no point keeping stuff from Ayabe. Better to just tell him up front than have him find out somewhere else. What can I say? I'm a professional. You're sure. a concerning professional. professional snitch. I feel like Get you can't trust picks. Ayabe. He's the kind of money that seems he's the kind of guy really that seems like he bends over just say an amount what? of money. You telling me I bought you a drink for nothing? He doesn't seem loyal to anything. What? Our time's too tough to buy around. Here. Let me at least repay you for the booze. He could be bought. Go on. Huh. Did you know Hamura's in hiding? He's been out of the office ever since last night. Not even the cops can find the guy. Yeah, Higashi told us as much, actually. You charging us for this old news? I'm <laughs> okay, okay, fine. You want answers? Go ahead and ask. Everything's on the house for tonight. I'd rather talk business than sit here in silence anyway. Sounds good to me. Let me think. Oh god. Uh, why did the Kiri clan come to Kamurocho? What's happening in the Matsugane family right now? How's it feel to be called a dirty cop? How's Kamurocho been lately? I'm gonna go stram- uh, these are two good, two good questions, so I guess we'll start there. Why are the Kyori and Kamurocho to begin with? What's a Kansai group doing this far from home? Because they wanted turf in Tokyo. Duh. Even if it meant war with the Tojo? They couldn't have the numbers for that. True. Compared to the Tojo's 25,000, Kyori have a meager thousand at most. Plus, Kamurocho is not exactly their home turf. By that logic, they don't stand a chance. And yet they've been here almost two years now. Crazy when you think about it. Even the cops put money on the Tojo clan, crushing them into dust. So, what's the holdup then? The Kyore has the backing of the Kajihiro group. In other words, a lot of fucking money. Kajihiro? Isn't he a construction bigwig? Yep. And one of his subsidiaries is the perfect Kyore cover. I suppose you'd know it better as KJ Art. Yeah. Yeah, we're familiar. Makes sense they'd never have made inroads in Kamurocho without some big financial backing. What does Kajihira have to do with the Kyore? Why is he funding Yakuza? Probably so he can expand East out of Kansai. The real money's out here anyway. From what I hear, He's got some big redevelopment plans for Tokyo. What kind of plans are we talking? Not a clue. But if they're coming from Kansai to do it, shit's got to be important. And there's always dirty work with those kind of jobs, you know? Like what? Evictions, land sharks, laying the political groundwork. The Kyore is handling all that shit for Kajihira. At least, that's the word on the street. Yeah, thanks. These rumors of yours are gonna do us a ton of good. Well, what I know for sure is that the Kajihira CEO's been up in Tokyo a lot lately. Schmoozing with politicians, government officials, even Kazumi, the head of the Ministry of Health. Why would a construction guy be talking to someone from the Health Ministry? What's the connection? Beats me. Point is, the Kyore aren't here just for Yakuza shit. 
It's way more complicated than that. Hmm. Okay, what's going on with Matsugane family? Our things in the Matsugane family. Well, you already know about the shooting. Their hands are tied while the cops are running the show. So, yeah, they've been pretty quiet. I feel like... How's Kamurocho been lately is such a silly question. So how's this any been? I don't know, it just feels so weird, so I'm gonna attack him. How's it feel to be called a dirty cop, bro? Just wondering. <laughs> oh, How no! How does it feel when people call you a dirty cop? Eh, anyone who knows that side of me ain't exactly a saint either, you know? Good point. That's the pot calling the kettle black, or the kettle calling the pot black, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. How's Kamurocho seem to you lately? Tense. And that shooting only made things worse. Nobody knows when the next fight will break out, or where a stray bullet might end up. Right. And our killer's only gone for Yakuza so far, but he could target anyone next. Gunfights, a murderer on the loose, this city's a mess. This is why this is a silly <laughs> question. Like, what do you expect you to happen right. when there's a shooting in a city? By the way, Amura might have walked, but the cops are still pretty fixated on this mole case. Even the public's wondering who will be next. Huh. Bleh. That was a dumb question. All right, I gotta go. Already? You're a busy boy. Yeah. Kaito-san? Huh? Yagami and Kaito, yes. What an honor. Uh-oh, is this the man? Tokyo police. Oh, there he is. He looks Kuroiwa. pretty handsome. Mitsuru Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa. The one who almost put Hamra behind bars. Yeah, he doesn't like us. Um, We didn't know his first name. Hold on. I'm going to write his name down. And note that I put his name in red chat, which means I think that he's a bad character. Before you That's what the green and red grasp. characters mean on the side. Huh. It's my first perception so of them. I've become a department punchline now. I have you to thank. Mm, you're very welcome. <laughs> Yagami. And I see you're here too, Ayabe. <laughs> oh, Kuroiwa-san. Nice nights. It's great to see you. Yeah. I cut out of work to grab a few drinks. You doing the same, Ayabe? Nah. <laughs> Old me? I don't play hooky. Well, <laughs> we should be on our way. Hey. Let me ask before you go. The Okobo case. You let that murderer get off scot-free. After which he burned his poor girlfriend to death. And yet, here we are with another murderer roaming the streets of this city. I wonder who the next victim will be. You consider that, Yagami Sensei. All right, smart ass. No one likes a smart ass. No one. Okay, I like Good smart time. asses. I'm lying. Yeah, I'm used to dealing with assholes like that. What was Kuroiwa doing there anyway? I bet he knows about Ayabi's little side gig. Probably came to keep him from chirping too much. Right. Or maybe he wanted to keep an eye on us. Hope not. I don't need that guy breathing down our necks. Anyway, you want to head home? Not yet. Something's bugging me about the Kyore clan. What do you mean? Until today, I just thought they were here scouting out some new turf in Kamurocho. But it turns out they've got a construction conglomerate behind them, and they're involved in redevelopment, too. So you want to figure out who the real Kyore is? Not a bad idea. But how are we going to investigate it? You don't remember? 
We have a friend on the inside. <laughs> you mean Morase? Oh yeah. Come on, let's head to KJ Art. Morase that we beat up in the beginning, right? Let's hit it. <sighs> Forgot he existed. why they always got to bring it up. I also don't know why I just kept walking. They always do got to like rub it in Yagami's face. Like, bro, he knows. Hey, talk. We're getting close to KJR. Hey, you want to bust out the drone? See what our old friend Murase is up to? Yeah, should be pretty easy to find him this time. <laughs> right this way. Oh, boy. Up the ladder we go. Up the ladder we go. As per the use. All right, it's spy time. Okay, I'll handle the flying. You keep watch on anyone coming in or out. Bro, I'm gonna time you out. You need to stop being a smart ass in the chat. We don't need like a commentary on like everything that's happening in the plot. Let me let me play the game please. Oh I got an exquisite screw. Oh man I really don't want to scout out. <laughs> please don't make me scout out with a drone. Oh I need to I want to race. I should race with it. Okay. Alright, so he's still up here. Oh my god, the wind. The wind is so fucking annoying. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ! <sighs> Who put the wind in this game? <sighs> Why? Why does wind need to be a mechanic? Why? No, this doesn't need to be a mechanic. This fuck it's... I can't- I can't fly my drone. It looks like I'm drunk, but I swear to god I cannot fly this goddamn thing. Right off. Unnecessary game mechanic. Take it out. There he is. <laughs> right where I expected. Yeah, not so sure it's that simple, though. Take another look. Morase's alone. Your point being? Oh, hi. Hands up. <laughs> Look at his smile. He hi. You know, that Matsugane guy died at our hands. Always knew we'd get some Tojo clan boys sent over here. So, you see, we've been expecting guests this whole time. Damn, we are completely Yagami surrounded. <laughs> That's not good. You're the ideas guy, aren't you? Damn it. If you two clowns Fancy really pants. were Tojo clan, we'd have gouged your eyes out by now. What the hell is that? Yikes. Sounds sure noisy, huh? It was fancy no pants here. About, say, a couple of gunshots up here. Whose bright idea was this? This guy. Oh, is that really how it's gonna be? Wow, Kaito. <laughs> really throwing me under the bus. And just who are you? Good question, Kaito-san. Satoshi oh, Shio is the name. You're Satoshi. Oh, 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 you okay. We do know you. Alright. This guy. 
Bringing out the red, Satoshi Shioya. Oh, I need black too. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry, let me. Satoshi Shioya. All right, and we have a section on here for Curie Clan, so we're gonna put the captain on here. So now we can actually add to our Cure Clan section. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, he's not dad. If he's the captain of the Cure Clan, he's not a dad, he's a son. Ah, yes. I had him marked as dad, but no, he is a, he's son. Got it. So you know what's happening, right? If Tojo clan Matsugane is the dad and Hamura is the son, and then you have the Curie clan, who Shioya uh, is the son, and we don't know the dad of the Curie clan. But, uh... You know, clearly you see a, a sun war happening between Hamura and Shioya. So it's the battle of the suns. Okay, got it. Moving along. The Curie clan's captain, huh? We still have to f meet the dad. Him. Hey, get some cuffs on these fools. I've got some burning hot questions to ask them. <laughs> you ready? I think we're gonna have a little fun. Battle of the Suns. Oh! You think I'm messing around? Take him out now! Kaito? No! Jester! Please be Jester! Yeah! Shit. My homeboy! Yeah, you little bitch! Get in here! I miss your face! Is this really the time? Yeah, I like you. <laughs> Come on, let's move. Totally not Joker. Yeah, he's here. Yes! All I wanted today was to see Joker again, and I got my wish. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty happy camper. Why am I not moving? Oh, that's oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, that was an X action with Kaito. Sweet. Do I get an X action with Jester? Mess man, I missed you! Watch the health, watch the health. Wait, he just regen. Wait, his health came back. Oh my god. Hey guys, come on. <sighs> Take him out, boys. You still trying? <laughs> oh. Ow. My back. My aching back, bro. <laughs> Whoa, 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 she, oh, yeah. she, please leave me alone. I don't want to die. I 
I'm so bad at combat, as per usual with these action games. Hey, Masked Man, can you help a little bit more? I'm kind of getting beat to a pulp! Good thing we have sushi. Ah, oh, dodge! Okay, oh my god, I... Yeah, Kaito, help, help a brother out. Help a brother out. I am so excited that Jester showed up. <laughs> That's what I've been wanting all stream was to see this fuck. <laughs> I was way too excited about his arrival. Come on, let's roll. Yeah, no reason to stay here. We owe you one. This man has saved our lives twice now and I do not like it. Coming? Sure, may as well. Wait, just like that? Oh. He's coming with us. Okay. I'm not letting you assholes get away that easily. Yakuza don't fuck around. <laughs> you three are gone. Oh, damn, that's hot. Okay. I don't like this. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, shit. You're not half as ugly I as don't... I figured you were. <laughs> what can I say? Not a good idea? Well, Kaito? Not like I'll get very far with it on. Oh, you bruh. Know? Bruh. Hi. <laughs> okay. I am looking very respectfully. <laughs> Hello. Ah, uh, he cute. <laughs> Guys, what the hell were you thinking coming here? Uh. <laughs> what? You don't want us around? No. It's just. He's it cute. Was Captain Amara saw you here. He. How's he gonna find us if he's off the grid? What are you worried about? Yeah, but forget it. Who's your friend? Hi. Good question. I'm Sugiura. Fumiya Sugiura. Reformed thief. Okay. Fumiya Sugiura. What if he just gave us a fake name? I don't know. Doesn't he didn't seem very genuine about it. Fumiya Sugi Uda. Fumiya Sugi Uda. All right, you know what that means. You know what that means, chat. Well, the masked man now has a name, so we gotta change it. He's a reformed thief, he now has a name. Now, don't get me wrong, he is still a little bitch. He didn't need to hide his face from me the first two times. He didn't need to do that. Uh, Sugira. Sugira! Now has a name. We replaced it. Still calling sus. I don't know. It seems like a fake name, but whatever. This we'll trust him. We'll trust him. This is the first time my neck. My mask. Ain't that the symbol of some big-time burglary ring? It is, but I bailed on that. I'm flying solo now. What were you doing over by KJR? Stalking you? Say it to don't me. Don't want to talk? Say it to no, me. No, I just don't know where to start. It's... Kind of complicated. You were stalking me. Hmm? 
Okay, well... I used to work for the Kajihira group. Oh! Down at their headquarters in Kansai. You mean oh. the guys backing the Kilray clan? Yeah. I had a job doing IT work for them for a bit. Keeping their servers safe, that kind of stuff. I was their systems engineer. Hmm. An ex Kajihira guy turned criminal, huh? Go on. Well, one day I noticed some accounting data was off. They were cooking the books. Really? Turns out the top guys were making a slush fund. They stashed away millions, writing it all off as some vague business expense. Digging it all up was kind of a thrill. Kill? Sorry. Until I got caught. You got caught? What kind of a thief are you? Everything happened so fast after that. They accused me of embezzling company funds and threw me out on the street. Nobody would believe a word I said. Thanks, Jet. <sighs> but I knew where the money was going. A group of Yakuza known as the Kyore clan. Specifically, a shell company called KJ Art. If I could just prove it, I'd be able to get back at the bastards who cheated me. So Sugiura's got a grudge against the Kajihira group. Which is why you were staking out the place. I've been keeping watch over there for a while now. <laughs> I even saw you break in and beat the crap out of Murase. Okay. Assuming all that's true, why did you rescue us? You remember when you asked to team up, Yagami-san? That doesn't explain why he knows us. I think. Wait, no. If he was stalking me back then, he could catch my name. Seems like a pretty good deal. Might be worth putting our heads together for a while. Me and the Yagami Detective Agency. <laughs> Especially you, Kaito-san. Huh? No matter how many Yakuza come to take you down, you always have it handled. It's incredible. <laughs> what can I say? You got a good eye. He's kissing kid. all of our asses. Don't let it go to your head. Hey. Can He's you just guys a general kiss take this ass. Shit elsewhere? So, what do you say? I'm not saying we've got to become best buddies, but we can at least give each other a hand. How? Oh. You want your mole? I want the Kyore clan. We might not be after the same thing, but there's a lot of overlap. How can I get in touch with you? He just... Uh... <laughs> Will that work? How the hell did you do that? What? I took your phone, remember? Not like oh I had to hack it or anything. God. Asshole, you are a little bitch. Ah, kids these days. You deserve to be in my little bitches category, bruh. Bruh. Very fitting. You know, I kind of like this Sugiura kid. That little compliment really won you over, huh? It's not like I fully trust him yet, man. We scratch his back, he scratches ours. As long as that's all he wants, I'm good. Agreed. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the office. Cool. Later, man. I wanna play gotcha. Squid! Worth it. Got a squid. We don't know that he's a good man. We're kind of assuming. He could end up being a bitch. Like an actual bad bitch, not a good bitch. We don't know. You asked. I want to do more wall jumping. I forget. Wait, hold on. I want to do more wall jumping. Wait a second. I don't want to kill you. Hold on. There we go. It's hard to get to a sprint to be able to, like, to... Oh, okay. Well, that's leapfrogging, but... I just need to get a little bit better at that. Oh! Oh, hey. Huh? Bro, just let me eat the goddamn freaking Calbee meat. I'll pay good money. I'm stacked, and I got stacks. Sir, please understand our legendary Calbee only goes to the customers who successfully pass our quiz. That's why it's a promotion. Are you shitting me? I cannot fucking believe. What kind of bullshit customer service is this? 
Such language, sir. Would you please stop making a scene? Hmm? That meathead sure looks heated. Maybe it's time to squash the beef. Excuse me. Hey, is everything all right? Oh, aren't you the customer from before? Huh? Who's this lean meat looking motherfucker? I'm having trouble with the guest. He's demanding to eat our special hey. cow beef. You got all the questions right? Bro, who even cares about that shit? All I know is that I'm starving to death over here for no reason. Rules are rules, bro. If you want the cow be that bad, then why don't you beef up your knowledge? Yes, he's right. After all, this ge gentleman passed the quiz just fine. Huh? What, you ate the special cow yep. Well, yeah. Unbelievable. You smug son of a bitch. I need that protein for my workout gains. It's completely wasted on a sausage stick like you. I'll show you my sausage stick. Actually, no, I won't. <laughs> you know what? You spit that meat out of your mouth right now. Cough that shit up. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, we'll see whose sausage, sausage stick is better, bro. This again? <laughs> Mine is clearly superior. Ow. Let's have this bento. Everything is red. I'm in danger. Satisfied yet? I'm shook, bro. I did everything. I crushed weights every day and I even went full keto. Where did I go wrong? Training your body is fine, but next time try training your mind. Then maybe you can beat the challenge fair and square. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> the fucking roast. You okay? Thanks to you, how about yourself? Yeah. Hardly a scratch on me. Thank heavens, may I ask your Yagami. name, sir? Sure, I'm Yagami. Yagami Smoke, what did you do? What did just now, what you did just now was nothing short of amazing. As my way of saying thanks, you're welcome to order our superior single cut Calbi anytime huh. you wish. Hey, sounds good to me. At least I can do Yagami sum Sama. I hope to see you again soon. Whoa, I made another friend. It really does pay to lend people a hand every now and then. Does it? I feel like I don't gain much whenever I make these friends. It's not like I'm getting free food, like I still gotta pay for this shit. You know? Yeah, now I'm getting hungry too. I think the poutine is sitting outside my door. I think. Actually, I should probably go see if it is. Okay. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can come. You can show your face. It's okay. Show your face. No, don't run away. No. He ran away! <laughs> oh, Dom! 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> he saw the poutine. I'm sorry. I just took it off though. So it won't happen again. I'm sorry. Tom, now everyone's really upset. What? Why is it my fault? No! Why is it? What? No! <laughs> mm. <laughs> he hates you, Chad. That's just it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> face reveal. I mean, he does stream. <laughs> he just doesn't like showing his face on my stream for some reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hello? Only on his own stream. <laughs> you want the Dom fan service? Dom? If you put it that way, maybe, maybe he'll do it. I think he's gone though. He's gone. Maybe he's upset about the poutine. I don't know. We're gonna get that scoop on Mari. I thought if you were free, you might be interested. Mazada. Mm -hmm. hmm? What the fuck? <clears throat> Wait, what are you playing at? That woman would talk about herself to save her life. Maybe, but tonight's the night, buddy. Especially with you around. But why is that? Some of the regulars are playing a little betting game to see if they can guess what she does for a living. Thing is, nobody's got it right yet, so I figured that's where you come in, detective. <sighs> and wasn't I just at Tender? You already miss me? And don't be like that. There's always money on the table if you win, you know. See you soon, buddy. A jerk- that jerk hung up on me. Can't fault the guy for knowing how to make a sale, though. Guess I'll head to tender. Here we go. Oh yeah, I'm like half beaten up. I should go eat something. Oh, this is a bar. Perfect. Let me get drunk. What's the most expensive thing you got? Gold Jack Daniels. Alright. Barely any health, but sure. I at least get uh, a lot of heat. Let's eat here. Uh... I'll just eat that. Good stuff. Back to it. You are welcome. I should get more drunk often. I should get drunk more often in this game is what I wanted to say. Oh, the cat guy! Fuck, I'm supposed to be looking for cats! I forgot. A nurse, right? You think a nurse could go out drinking by herself every night? They're busy and tired. Wow, they all suck. Maybe you're in the press then. Mm. I doubt journalists are so bored that they go out drinking every night either. <laughs> hey. I love her. <laughs> a new challenger approaches, and this one's a detective. Watch out, Mari. Huh? Come for some sport tech? <sighs> Apparently he thinks I'll be good at this. That or he's desperate. You want in? It's 10,000 yen ante. Whoever guesses it Mary's occupation takes the pot. Hmm. So if we're all putting down 10k, I would make it a whooping 40k. <sighs> Don't be a buzzkill talk. I think you might actually have a shot. <laughs> so, of how about I make it more interesting for you? I'll bet 50,000 that nobody can guess. <gasps> That's a lot, so the winner gets 90,000 yen. <laughs> More interesting is right. Hey, how about it, Toph? 
There's Claire is quite a fortune on the line if you can guess it. Sure. Yeah. I like gambling. How could I refuse? Count me in. <laughs> You're welcome to observe. Take all the time you need. All right, I guess I'll see what I can glean from her apparel and body language. What the? Nice, expensive looking necklace. Certainly didn't come from the discount aisle. Mm. If she bought it herself, she is doing just fine on her own. I bet it could also have been a gift from a guy. I'm thinking that she just has a rich husband and she actually doesn't have a job. If she's here every day, chances are low that she's serious with anyone right now. Aw, oh, damn it. Maybe she's already married? Is there anything I can find out on her that would tell me more about her marriage history? Well, obviously you'll look at the finger for a ring. Suspicious. Ah. No ring on her finger, not even a callus where one would have been. I'm just gotta assume she's not married. Nice, that's useful info. Her nails are nicely manicured. Not probably, that probably means having long nails and nail polish don't interfere with her job. The shoes, ooh, I like those shoes. Nice little flowers on them. What the? Hmm. That material isn't cheap and the design is classy too. Probably a luxury brand. No way she goes through the hassle of dressing up to come drinking, but no way she wears that to work either. Could she be a freelancer of some sort? Suspicious. The color is a bold choice. It's safe to assume wherever she works isn't super conservative. No cats? Hey Joe, what's up? Is there a cat behind the counter? I'm used to looking for cats. Is there no, not a cat? I don't hear a meow. Oh, that, I guess there's no cat. No, no cat. Your hair is dyed and your nails are done, so you clearly don't have a job that would impose rules on you. No ring means no husband, and your dress is, you're dressed to the nines, down to the accessories. Clearly you have money. The fact that you're here every night means you aren't working very demanding hours. Impressive. I know what to call if I ever needed, who to call if I ever needed a detective. So, I'm right so far? <laughs> Could be. It wouldn't be fair if I told you, would it? Confirm that she isn't short on money. I couldn't help but notice earlier you paid your tab with a black card, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. Can't you get one of those if you're filthy rich? Can't you only get one of those if you're filthy rich? Mm -hmm. How rich are we talking here? She clearly has both money and the luxury of time. Hmm. Then Mari's occupation must be... Definitely not a doctor. A CEO's lover, an author. Authors don't make money unless you had, like, a really successful book. But even then... You know what, for my own morals, I'm gonna say author. I would like to think that she did this on her own. You know, she's not stealing from somebody else's, from a lover's money. No, no, no. But then again, if you're an author, you really don't have a lot of time on your hands because you're just writing all the time. Like, if you're self-employed, that kind of a job, usually you sell your soul to time. I feel like authors aren't out every night. So with that line of thinking, I'm like... That doesn't sound right. Doctors never have time. Like... Even a really successful author wouldn't be able to live like that. But you know what? I'm gonna assume that she... she it's, of, you know, like, of her own merit. But it still doesn't make sense. Man, there's 90,000 on the line here. 
I need 90,000 yen because I'm bad at this game. I need to buy all of the health items I can possibly get. Ugh. Uh, this is rough. I'm really thinking about this. Oh god, so many people getting timed out. Chat, shut up. Do not backseat. <laughs> Stop it. I like the line of thinking that, um... This can't be... Honestly, I don't- I don't like any of these answers. Could it be, like, none of the above? Is there, like, a secret down option? No. Watch it is Doctor, but Doctor would make no sense. She would have no time. And an author... Like, you can be a CEO's lover, and... Like, you can- you can be seeing someone but not married, so that's- that's very liable, like, having no ring. Uh, you don't need- don't need a ring to be a CEO's lover, you know? It doesn't really mean anything. So that really is a very... <sighs> logical. Oh, I hate that answer, though. I hate it. I want to say author, but, like, it probably is CEO's lover. Fuck. Because, like, how I imagine an author to be is, like, you don't just write one book, be successful, and then live the rest of your days like this. And even then, like, you would need to be one of the top authors in the world. Like, what are the odds of that? Even a successful book, you're not going to be that rich. That's a little bit... Mm -hmm. It's- the- the chances of that are so low, but also the chances of being a CEO's lover is also low! So clearly, this is... bullshit! You know what? Of her own merit, we're going author. Are you an author? I would guess that you come to the bar to hear stories that make up for great research. Interesting, no one's ever guessed that before. Final answer? Yeah. I'll go with it. Anyone else? Care to venture a guess? I'm gonna go with accountant. Yep, accountant? <laughs> what? No. She's a principal of a private school. You think principals make money? What the fuck? I'll take a stab at her being in stocks. That's not a bad guess. But still, usually when real estate management. Oh, real estate is a good one. I'd say real estate's actually a really good guess. You're all wrong. <laughs> I win. Looks like I'll be taking the pot. I do have work to do, you know. <gasps> work? At this time of night? Hmm. Not that I have to go if I don't feel like it. See you around. <sighs> mm. Don't detectives also tail people for a hmm? living? <laughs> Why don't you see where she goes discreetly, of course. <laughs> so now we're stalking her? Yeah. She was none of those jobs. Help! One of the Kayan gang leaders rounded up a bunch of goons and started wreaking havoc in the streets. None of them will quit until they find you, so please don't let any more people get hurt. What do I do? Come on, bro! Really? Ah. There she is. Let's see where she goes. Oh my god, I hate tailing missions. Come on. Oh wait. That's a terrible angle. 
You don't really get a good look. I have nowhere to hide. I hate this. She was turned around. I can't just... Oh god, is she coming back? Don't, don't turn around. Okay. Oh no, we're losing her! Lost her again. Oh, I'm making a ruckus. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to make a ruckus. Hey, that's... Mari, no way. I guess you'd make pretty good money out of high-end soap land. Ah. Don't get the wrong idea. A friend of mine has a little thing going at a beauty salon. You knew I was following you. <laughs> Can we just add Mari to the board of little bitches even though she's an insignificant character? Whatever. All right. She's on to me. Just who are you, Mari? I may have a chance if she's going to work now. I just have to make sure she doesn't catch me. Mari would recognize me in a heartbeat, of course. Maybe I should, of course, put on a fucking disguise. Yeah, 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 whatever. Wow, I'm homeless all of a sudden. Tailing again. What? Oh no, we're losing them. I have nowhere to hide, I really shouldn't be getting too close. <laughs> Fucking Mari. He's completely unrecognizable. Oh god, don't move. Back to the Millennium Tower. Stay. Oh god, oh god, don't turn around. She stopped. Oh god, oh god, I need a hiding place. Are you a hiding place? Woo! Spicy. These always make me nervous, even though they're pretty easy to do. I get nervous every time. This place is very out in the open.
I don't like having nowhere to hide. Oh god. Ah! Panicked. I didn't have anywhere to hide. Wait, I'm losing her. I don't even know where she went. Where did you go? Wait, I actually lost her. Are you in here somewhere? Wait, now I need to actually panic. Oh, the, the red dot says this way. Oh, oh God! Where, I, I don't see her, I don't see her. How am I supposed to hide if I don't know what I'm hiding from? Oh God, I'm blind. Fuck. Um, apparently she's still in my sights. Yeah, totally. I have nowhere to hide. This is ass. Where the fuck is she? Nice camera angle. Did she stop in the middle here? I am... It says arrow this way. I don't... Isn't that... Where are you? Oh, you're right there! Oh, finally! I found you! Jesus Christ, woman! Jesus! How am I... Yeah, she's right there. Okay, we found her. We found her. Ooh, that was scary! God, this tailing mission is taking forever. Come on, lady, keep on moving. You're being a pain in my- oh god. Pain in my ass. I don't god all day here. No hiding places. Oh god, I don't like this. Okay, hiding place. Whew! I feel safe. Oh god. Walks and walks and walks and walks. Hmm? Wait, don't tell me. She works down at the casino underneath of here. That is a good job. Try as you might, you can't hide it. Besides, I had a hunch you might follow me. Huh? Come on, lady! Guess I knew you'd be the type to call my bluff. Hey. Don't you get it? Welcome to do what- Welcome to what I do for a living. You're a gambler? 
That's right, a gambler who only works when she's feeling lucky. You're, that's my little secret. Makes sense why the idea of a betting pool excited you, too. I only did it for fun at first, you know, but then I kept winning. <laughs> I guess I have a talent for it. And when I've, I'd made enough money, I left the office work behind. And now you have a black card, pretty impressive. But the others are chomping at the bit, so a bit to find out, I assume. Tell you, uh, tell you what, if I pay you, will you keep it a secret? Can't exactly have rumors spreading that I make fortunes in illegal casinos, can I? Yeah. I wouldn't want that getting out either. I'll tell them I lost you in a crowd. But I must say, you're a really good detective. Your logic was on point. What do you say? Want to see how you fare in my line of work? You might do better than you'd think. She's trying to make me a gambler and so I lose all my money? I could also do worse than you think. Nah! I don't want to lose my money like this. I'm leaving. Why did we just... Ugh. What was the whole point in doing that with Mari? Huh? What was the fucking point? Money? I guess I got money, but still, this is stupid. What? Do you want? Don't take a bike at me, you fucking bitch! Yeah, the threat level is going down. I could find the leader and beat him up, apparently. It's right over here. I mean, maybe we should. Can't be that hard, right? Oh, come on. Alrighty, so the leader is here? Hi. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's Honda again. Oh no, this guy kicked my ass. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. not in his powered up state yet. This is the easy state, but whenever he gets all powered up and shit, then it's, then it's hard. Whoa, his body really goes fucking flying. Oh. That could have been bad if I didn't have heat. Oh god. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. You fucking done! We're okay. Just gotta be careful, you know. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god! We're fine. Just gotta be careful, right? Ha ha. Be careful, ha ha ha. Of course. I get a big reward for beating him up, so I should just do it. Ooh, don't, don't, don't! Baby, don't hurt me no more. I'm gonna drink sake. Screw you! Shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god! No, I clicked off the fucking item screen. No, I clicked it twice, so it. Oh, no, fuck. God damn it. Shit. Wait, what do I get for losing? Oh, nothing bad happened. 
He just moved. Oh, I guess we chase him down. I want a rematch, bitch. Ain't nothing bad ever happened. Oh, ow. Hi, I'm hurting. Maybe I shouldn't chase him down. Maybe... Oh, you know what I should do? Um, is uh, upgrade my skills. I haven't done this in a while. Boost health. Ooh, that seems intelligent. And then boost attack. I really should be saving up for this, though. Boost attack seems smart. Charges up the X gauge faster when drunk. Yes. These seem like smart things to do. I like being drunk in this game, so this is this liquid valor seems intelligent. Wow, upgrades are really helpful. Look how fast my bar is going up now. Why didn't I do this before? I got a play pass! Yes! I did. And stay down. Alright, just gotta go eat some food real quick. What do you guys sell here? Hi! Oh, I don't really need food. Oh, that looks so good, bro. Ice cream! White rice with Calbee. You know what? Oh, that ice cream looks so good. We pass a poppy on the way. Let's buy a bunch of sushi. Don't attack me. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's buy three of those. Let's buy three of these. Let's buy three of these. We need more sake, because that's my life now. Being drunk all the time. Uh, some sushi sets, some of that. Yeah, I like spending money on stupid stuff. No, the health upgrade was definitely not lying. It's probably gonna help me a lot. I feel like uh, with my upgrades now, I could take this guy on. So, I want to see what kind of things happen if I win. Although, maybe I should save my game. Wait, I did it last time. I don't need to do this. Doesn't seem like there's much punishment. Kenta Kasai. Oh. You're a different leader. I just got used to fighting the other guy. Drunk seems OP in this game, if your gauge fills up that fast. a lot easier than the other guy. Holy shit, by a landslide. Thank god. What a waste. Thank you, Ryder. Oh, that was fun. I didn't I, I don't feel like I got much for that fight. I'm a little bit disappointed. Why? More fighting! Fuck you! 
Ooh, I like that, like, punching the ground, like, punching, staying low. That's cool. We're getting a little bit better at combat. Or I'd like to think we're getting a little bit better at combat. Really, guys? I'm not. Wait, I should take that back. I, you know what? I, I take back that statement. It's stupid. I'm bad. Hi, are you a friend? Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for people for blood type O. Oops, right, mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, somebody needs a blood transfusion in fast. Yeah, fast, right, right. Okay. I don't know if he's, yeah, it's been a while. Moriboshi Sensei, thank you so much. Yagami san. Yagami san, sorry to put you out uh, out like that. It was no trouble at all. I need to thank you somehow. If you find yourself injured, I'll treat you anytime. Stop by whenever medicine alone won't do the trick. <laughs> oh. Are you cheaper now? Maybe you're cheaper, I don't know. You're still 20,000 yen? Bro, you're ba breaking my bank. I guess I should get good and stop taking mortal wounds for fuck's sake. Guy is freaking expensive. a lot of friends in this game. All the dark green ones, I think, are the ones that are done. We have made a lot of friends. Now, we still have a lot of friends to make, though, unfortunately. We haven't friended everybody, but we're making good progress. Huh? Good work, Yagami-san! Way to send those Kahan thugs packing! Everyone in town is practically cheering your name at this point, so we decided to leave you a little token of our gratitude. Check the delivery box? What, Kim? In front of my office, I have a delivery box? Oh, wait, I do. That's where I got the DLC. Right, right, right. Did I ever find you a company, sir? I need to find this guy a business partner. I want to make a friend here. Oh my god! It's on the ground! Don't you get smart with me? How about showing us some respect, huh? Oh, a debt collector. Oof. For swindling me out of my money, I respect you when you pay back, uh, when you pay back what you owe. Wouldn't that be more fair? Uh -huh. You think the Kahin Gain's just gonna bend over backwards and pay you out of your, out of the ass, huh? Uh -huh. Again with these Kahin Gang lunatics. They just cause problems wherever they go, don't they? I guess I'm gonna step in. Uh -huh. Hey. You're even- you'd even assault your leader? Didn't- no punk- you punks could stoop so low. Out of the way. This heat action's fun. Or X action. Wee. 
Are you alright? Thanks to you, yeah, I take it you're familiar with those mm -hmm. punks? Eh, you could say that. For one reason or another, they seem to have a grudge against me. Well, it doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> I knew you could pay up. I'll be taking my money back now. Hope you choke on it, you bastard. Now that that's settled, looks like we haven't introduced ourselves, this have we? I'm Takeyuki Yangami, and I work as a detective here in Kamurocho. A detective, you say? Interesting. I'm Kazufumi Kagaguchi, and I run Turtle Financing on the third floor of this building. <laughs> in other words, I'm a deck collector. Did they really- wait, are they really making this fucking joke? Turtle financing, sky financing, turtle, like, slow. No, maybe it's not this. Oh. Should have known they never planned on paying me back. This isn't the first time they attacked me either, low-life bastards. They think that they can do whatever the hell they want, unforgivable. When it comes to being a nuisance, they're right up there with the Yakuza. Mm. I should let you know, though, those goons weren't the only ones I lent money to. I actually ended up financing a couple of their leaders, too. Kenta Kasai and Renji Honda, they owe me 800,000 yen each! Ah. Holy shit! Wait, you lent money to them? Man, you really need to be more careful who you trust. Yeah, no kidding. You say, Yagami-san, you're good at tracking people. Being that you're a detective yep. and all. From what I've seen, you can enter yourself in a scuffle to boot. Could you track down those two imbeciles for me and get my money huh? back? Hmm. Oh boy, we just beat up one of them. Oh, would you look at the time? I gotta be getting back to my office. My, my, my. I already know about the gang leaders. Thank you. I just fought one. Bruh. Tiger and a dragon finance and there's no joke. I have a feeling that maybe, I don't know, it's across the street from where Sky Finance used to be. Directly across the street. Coincidence? I think not. Why do I have to use the key? Ugh, fucking. Perfect. Why can't my door just always be unlocked, damn it? Hello? Yagami-san. Um... This is Sari. Oh, Sayuri! What's up, Sari-san? You don't usually call me. I haven't been able to reach Shintani-sensei. It keeps going to voicemail. He Ooh. hasn't picked up since he left the office after talking to you. Mm-hmm. And? Didn't you say the Kyori clan was after him? Yeah. He'll be fine. I just wanted to give him a scare. Okay. Still. Could you try him for me? Sometimes he ignores my calls. Maybe he'll pick up for you. Are you sure we're talking about the same guy? <laughs> Here's some uh, money to buy well. on the diet. Coke and apology for the poutine. Chris, <laughs> love. Don't worry about it. Thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate it. Can't hurt to try. You're just trying to be nice. It's all good. I will enjoy it. Hmm. Wait a second. What? Why is it here? What? Uh, Jago, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Psycho Pearl. I appreciate it. Hi, Shintani here. Uh, hey, Shintani Sensei, it's Tak. Where are you? No, what the f You've reached the voicemail box of the one and only Masamichi Shintani, Genda Law Office's finest attorney. Shintani. Leave your legal troubles after the beep. Uh, his eyes are gone.
previously on Judgment. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. On the surface, the diagram resembles a Yakuza turf war. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow, the mole's sharp claws claim yet another victim. Well, that's a yikes. Days gone by. Okay, well, that's not so pleasant. So, um, wait, what's the done face for? Wait, 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 what? You what? He's dead. Didn't you just say everything would be okay? Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just what? as shocked as you. But do you need a hug? I think the mole is responsible. Did I do something wrong? <sighs> Have you contacted the police? No, not yet. You should do that right away, then. Do you think you could make the call, sorry, son? What? I need time to check things out before the cops show up and take over. Please. You might have to eat yeah. some poutine. Okay. Oh. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I took it off. I took it off. I took it off. Oh my god. Now nah, the Dobby please chant. <laughs> oh. Guys, we have to investigate a dead body here, and y'all are dancing in the chat. Uh -huh. Rude. What the hell, guys? <gasps> cat! Sorry, I know there's a dead body and all, but, like, um, I'm sensing a cat. Hmm. Where could a cat be? Has to be outside somewhere. I think I found you! Look at the kitty. Got him! A black cat. I'm not superstitious, but... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, game. Uh-huh. What the? Is that a bullet wound? Two bullet wounds? That must be the cause of death, but that's not the mole's usual M.O. Yeah, his M.O. is the Damn. eyes gouged out. His eyes are gouged out, same as the mole's other victims. What about Shintani's phone? Might be a good place to look. If it was going off when I called him earlier, so it's definitely on his body. Quickest way is to find uh, to find it would be calling it again. The ringtone will lead me straight to it. Just have to listen close, see where it's coming from. Suspicious. Shintani was in here. Maybe his phone's in here too? Nope, no phone. Sounds like the vibration is coming from the body. No, I wanted to... Hey. What about under the table? Shoot, not here. I'm trying to get all the points I can get. <laughs> not under the chair. What the? Not under the sofa. Getting all these free points here. Suspicious. No blood on the floor. The murder must have happened somewhere else. I'm like trying to go to his pant pocket, but like, bro, where is your fucking phone in your dick? Like, I don't understand. Hey. Oh, there it is. 
Chintani's phone, I should take a closer look. All right, did we get all the evidence? So same thing with all the other cases is uh, they're killed somewhere else and then brought somewhere. Like, how the hell is somebody, like, there is so many people walking around in Kamurocho. You cannot tell me that some bystander doesn't see someone lugging a dead body into our, into our vicinity. Like, how does no one see people carrying around dead bodies? The murder is taking place somewhere else. It wasn't in here. I don't get it. There are so many people in this town. That makes no sense. Even if it was in a bag, wouldn't that be super sus to somebody, you know? Like, people in Kamurocho really be so fucking scarred that they just, like, see people carrying a, a body bag around. <laughs> Actually, probably no body bag. I just don't, like, what the hell? Uh, his call history should tell me everything I need to know. Put on the gloves. Good job. Most of these are at Agenda's office. All of them except the last number he called. Chintani called in called it just a few hours before his death. Who was he talking to? Kuroiwa? He's the person that's showing up. Interesting. So he's gonna- oh, he's gonna be a fucking bitch, isn't he? He's gonna put it in my you face. You received a call from the Genda Law Office. He's gonna be like, oh, so you here's another here victim. Fast, Detective Kuroiwa. And it's all your fault, bitch. Shintani, huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. Are you kidding uh, me? I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Guess that's just how cops like you operate. Forensics will be here soon. We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How long? You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yet you can afford bribing a cop. Ayabe sources aren't even that reliable. <laughs> don't know what you mean. What? Oh, I'm sure How you... How do you know that? Is Ayabe being a little snitch? He shouldn't know that. Yeah, sorry. I had to wait around for the cops to get here. Is Genda Sensei still at the office? Yes. He wants to talk to you about Shintani. As do I. Hoshino, too. Okay, I'll head over now. See you soon. Man, juicy, juicy, juicy. Why would Shintani be a target? So up until now, it's just been Kirei clan, but the, uh, the, the victims are probably changing because the turf war officially started already. So because the turf war already started, there's kind of no need to target um, Kirei clan members anymore. I think like the person behind this got what they wanted and it already started. That's- a, that's just my guess. Turf War started. That makes them happy. So now I feel like I'm being directly targeted. People around me. Are they trying to make me a... Uh, are they trying to point this shit at me? No, that wouldn't make sense. Never mind. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? Oh boy, here we go. Sari-san was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani. 
So I decided to give him a call myself, see what the deal was. But when I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Gouged out, yeah. But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. He's right. messing with me. Who, who in their right mind would mess with me contest, and do you? Come on. The mole is way bigger than you know. He probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But yeah. why did he have to put Shintani Sensei's body in your office? Not sure. Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? <laughs> Maybe both. Yagami. Hmm? You might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. Get out of town. Go somewhere quiet. No. If the mole comes after you next... Right. I'll do just that, Genda-sensei. You know, I watched over Chintani since his first day as a lawyer. Kid had a good head on his shoulders, and a knack for the job I could never compete with. But he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. Even so, he looked up to me. Guess I took it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined, Shintani Sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. Thanks for this, Yagami. Come on, Sarikun. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yakami. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say so. Good night. Good night, boss. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll I'll adjust my whiteboard soon. Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. Oh. Huh. Wow, that key looks very um <laughs> fancy. That's a fancy ass fucking key. Um, Yagami-san, do you have a minute? What do you want to talk about? Sure, what's up? Well, it's about Shintani-sensei. Yagami-san, I know you just told Genda-sensei you're gonna lay low, but that's not true, is it? You want to keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genda-sensei. But in return... Hmm? I want to help you. Look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down. I promise. Looking to avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> he wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep down, he was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. I was sitting right next to him this whole time. Yet there was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Which means... Baby. You sure about this, Hoshino? Genda-sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me, 
Don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. That's not now, what you need to worry about. Do you, you need to worry about not dying, well? baby. <laughs> You'll just baby Hoshino. If I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. I'll defend my court, Welcome myself aboard. in court. Can't defend yourself in court Glad if you're dead. You. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. I should have something that hints at what Shintani was doing before he died. Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right. That makes sense. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can see who he was calling. The killer didn't forget. Yeah. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. Really? I had no idea. Yep. I bet he left the phone so I'd find the body quicker. Huh? Yeah. I mean, he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? Hey! The number got a hit in the search! It's apparently for the, uh, Advanced Drug Development Center? What? What the hell? What? Do you know it? Three years ago, there was a pretty famous murder there. A patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. What the fuck? And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. Okubo? Okubo, Okubo. Wait! He was your client, wasn't he? He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. What right. The? And you defended him in court and won. But then he... He got free and... You can stop there. Yeah. We don't need it told but again. Why would Shintani Sensei have called the ADDC? Who would he even talk to? I bet we'll find out if we give them a ring. But it's getting late. You should go home. We both need some shut eye, yeah? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Is he being fucked with this whole time? Okubo oh, right. is still alive? <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito-san know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I'll see you. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, okay. Is it possible that Okubo is the mole? That would be too weird. That would be a little bit weird. I told Hoshino I'd meet him at Charles today. I guess it's time to head over. I'm just wondering if that's possible. No, probably probably not. He can't do much in jail. I'm just wondering if he would have influence even if he was mm -hmm. there, you know. What's that old man doing lying around? Is he okay? Oh, uh, do I need to care? They're forcing me to care. Dang it. Hey, are you okay? Excuse me. Hey, are you all right? <clears throat> Need mugwort. What? Hmm? Mugwort? There should be some growing just beyond, behind that fence. Sorry, but could you grab me some? What? Mugwort? What the fuck? Excuse me. You mean this? 
Yes, now can you place that mugwort into the gourd right there? Just stuff it in, close the lid and shake it. Alright. <laughs> now I'm feeling much better. Glad to hear it, old timer. What was in that drink just now? I call this an extract. Of what? Technically speaking, this is a medicinal decoction. But extract rolls much easier off the tongue, does it? But forgive me for not introducing myself. I'm Iyama. I make in my I make and market my own extracts right here in Kamurocho. That's why people call me the Hermit of the Dragon's Place. Palace. The Hermit of the Dragon's this Palace. Is Yagami. You know that abandoned building in the hotel district? That's the Dragon's Palace. My pharmacy's on the fourth floor. A pharmacy? So that mugwort was one of your ingredients? Mm. I came here to gather ingredients for an extract I'm making, but I got winded and ended up taking a nasty fall. Oh, that barely went up at all. I'm glad you were around, otherwise I might not have made it. I just met a man who apparently is apparently a hermit that makes drugs in an abandoned building. That's not strange at all. Huh? If it isn't Yagami, ready to die, uh. punk. Oh my god. Where they get this? Where they find this freak of nature? Okay. Must we? You know what? Dealing with these guys just makes me want to drink. Sometimes you just need to be drunk. Wait, he's not dying. His HP is like always... What the fuck? You don't die. Permanently at one. Well, that's annoying. Let me get up off the ground, you asshole! Failed? What? What the hell's with this guy? It's like he's invincible. <laughs> Looks like you don't even have a fraction of his strength. Oh, what? You've gotten yourself into quite the pickle, Yagami-san. You shouldn't be here right now. Hold your horses. I want to at least pay you back for your help earlier, so I brought you a little something. Oh, my inventory is full. Mm -hmm. That's good. One of my miraculous homebrewed extracts, of course. Once you drink it, well, you'll find out soon enough. You done chit-chatting with your hobo friend over there? Hurry up and fight me, asshole. Me, 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 me. Fight me, me, me. Oh. The medicinal extract will temporarily imbue you with one form of power or another. For starters, try using the Thunderstrike extract, which can be found. Okay, recovery item. I have all these extracts. They have unlimited uses. And we can set it to... I can set it to a hot bar thingy. God, I love that move. <laughs> this homeless guy is just standing in the corner, just watching me. I 
Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Be a detective. Do drugs. It helps me out in battle. <coughs> Drinking alcohol helps a lot. This is the power of your extract. How was that? Pretty darn effective, wouldn't yep. you say? I had no idea it would be this potent. As thanks for saving me, I'll give you the key to the Dragon's Palace, so feel free to come by when you want. Another key, yay. Has a nice casino and gambling hall, so swing on by if you're looking to get away for a while. Sounds like there's all kinds of stuff over there. My back is killing me. Even those extracts of mine can't fix old age, it seems. Aw, poor guy. Excuse me. You think you'll be okay? If not, I can always give you a lift back to the Dragon's Palace. No thanks. I wouldn't want you to go out of your way like that. It's fine. I was actually planning on going that way. Let, don't let it trouble you. Oh. My. God. This place is, um... Interesting stuff you got in this place. Okay. What is all of this? Why don't you have a seat? What's happening in here? Is this some kind of stew? Oh, it totally reeks. What the fuck? What the fuck did he put in here? I'm saying fuck. I'm sorry. Needs more emphasis. Curious about my hot pot, Aria. Well, this would be the liquid base of our extract. You mean this weird stew? Like, stew contains a special broth that, when mixed uh, with the right ingredients, turns into the extract. These extracts are specifically concocted to draw out the essence of each ingredient and transfer that power into mm -hmm. the body. You mean, like, when I drank it during that fight? Indeed. Now listen close. Extracts can have a variety of different effects depending on the one you make. See how there are many types of extracts here? Each one requires a different set of ingredients. You can find all the ingredients you need by looking around the city. All you need to do is add them to the broth and you're done. That doesn't sound too hard. Nope. In fact, I just have enough ingredients to make another extract. Why not try it out for yourself? Well, it never hurts to do it. Let's try. Okay. Create growth extract. Looks like it's just about ready. Bring the ingredients over here. Thank you. You obtained an extract recipe. If you want to try your hand at brewing more extracts, then go and gather more ingredients. Also, take this gourd. It's filled with a special solution that allows you to bring your own extracts at any time. Excuse me. I forgot to tell you, there are errands I'd like you to run. I'm trying to develop as many new extracts as possible, so I'd like your help with collecting the new and great ingredients. If you make if you make the extract listed, uh, listed on this recipe, I'll teach you how to brew more. But for now, I'll try to get to scavenging. Hope it all goes well. Woo! The spider on my ceiling! It's back. It might be a different one. I don't know, from the other day. Remember, that was literally six days ago. And now there's another spider on my ceiling right now. But I can't get to him. Come here, spider, 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 spider. Come here, spider, spider, spider. I can't reach him. It is beyond my reach. If you're looking for more empty energy drink bottle, I see th these often on Pink Street. If you're looking for a small branch, I see them on Pink Boulevard. I'm keeping an eye on the spider. If he comes in my reach, I'm killing him. Once you have the necessary ingredients for the extract, you bring it to me. You need to brew some extract, so you think you okay. Uh, okay. Do I really need that? The spider's, like, coming close. He's almost within range, but he's still on the ceiling. Hold on. Sorry, I need to kill a spider. desk somewhere. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you. You think you can run from me? No! Got him! 
Yeah! You know, like, whenever you try to... Okay, I killed it. Don't worry. You know, like, whenever you try to kill a spider on the ceiling and you, like, smash it? I didn't smash it, and so he fell down. He ended up on my marker on my desk, and then he fell on the ground, but I got him. He fell on the desk, which could have been bad because he was a black spider on my black desk. So he would have blended in, but I found him. It's all good. Phew! Spider crisis has been averted. Got him. I had to kill it. Like, you can't just let a spider keep invading your territory. So he did. No, no, yeah, I don't need to move house. What the fuck? Really? Low expectations? What the fuck kind of- what did I just- what? Why am I getting hit by these stupid people? And stay down. Yes, we will not miss the spider. I'm glad that I killed him. And you know what? I feel damn good about it. Holy shit, I didn't mean to do that. Feels good to murder a spider. And cold blooded me, the cold blooded murderer. Wait, there's a side case literally right here. Might as well. We're here. Wait, the the weave. It's back? Wait, the weave is back. That was Tokunaga-san's hat, right? It's loose again. Uh... How is the same weave? This is the same shit! Oh, God. Wait! Your weave. How did you lose your weave again? Bro, this is the same thing. How does this happen again? I don't want to chase the weave again! No! Excuse me. Why? Don't worry about me. Get my hat, please. Uh. Oh, my God. Not again. I really have to do this again. Okay. Look at the weave go. Wait a sec. Ow. Ow. All right, chasing a hat, okay. Um, what the hell is this? Elementary school kid, get out of my way, bro. That's not yours. Oh my God, this guy keeps falling. That's my hat, give it back. Oh yeah? <laughs> Dude, this elementary school kid is an <laughs> asshole, what? what? <sighs> now I'm chasing a kid down. Why would a child just snatch somebody's weave like this? What an ass! Wait a sec. Fucking traffic cones. Oh my god. Don't get hit by a car, kid. Ow, oh! Give it up already. 
evil child. Give me the weave back. You're pretty fast, mister. Yeah, I am. Now give it back. Finders keepers, man! What? You little brat, give it back unless you want me to hunt you to the ends of the earth. Holy crap. Holy crap. And then he just ran. What the hell? Huh? Kids will be kids, eh, Yagami san? I'll let this little incident just fly away on the breeze. The goddess of the sun will not smile down on me if I let life's trivial matters bother me, right? And here comes the complete personality shift. Have you ever considered finding a way to make sure it doesn't blow away, though? Fish paw, Shakami san. The, the lady of the north wind is a fickle sort, you know. And who am I to try to predict the whimsy of, of such a woman? <sighs> right. Yagami san, here. Why don't you take this? Thanks for the money, I guess. What's that? I do believe the breeze is whispering my name. I feel the muses on the wind. Perhaps I shall compose a poem to accompany this delightful little ditty. We shall meet again. Right. He's more like a typhoon than a breeze. Accurate. Stretchy rubber? What? What? Stretchy rubber? Like, a condom? Like, what the- I don't understand what I just picked up. Oh, I got a bonus play pass. I have so many play passes. I don't even know where, when I got those. Stretchy rubber. What is this? Thin yet durable and quite elastic. Oh, okay. It's just rubber. Oh, come you on. Ow, my hell. Alright, you know what? Head to Charles. I think I'm satisfied with my care for today, chat. So I'm gonna end, we're gonna end here for the day. I'm satisfied. We've gotten through two chapters. We made a lot of friends. We did a lot of side cases. I feel pretty accomplished. We did a lot today. Even though I still suck at combat, but I feel like I'm gonna forever suck at combat. It'll never get better. <laughs> Unfortunately.